Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the first session of Bolters, Bolt Shots, and Toasters. This is the first mission of our Death Watch campaign. I am joined today by four amazing individuals here to take part in the war against the Xenos. I'm going to be introducing them to you, one after another, starting with our first Death Watch Space Marine. He is our... I don't really know what his class is, actually. We'll find out. He's going to tell us a little bit about himself. We're going to go ahead and introduce Sidonis, played by my friend, uh, <laughs> Cannon Fodder. I, had to, I almost said your actual name. You're unmuted. Everybody's unmuted, so behave. <laughs> so here's Sidonis. Right, so yeah. Um, I, we got Sidonis. He's just a tactical marine. Um, the basic idea that I made creating him was that in a squad full of the extra special, shall we say, there's someone who needs to write. So he'll be, so I will probably be the straight man in this inevitable train crash of a, of a campaign. And we'll see how far that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. And uh, up next are, are, are a very unlucky uh, individual who rode who rolled uh, very unluckily for his power armor who's going to be our essential scout he hails from the raptors space marine chapter he is our boy from europe italo playing as scroglius it's scroglius okay uh, i'm not actually a raptor i'm a oh yeah raven guard oh yeah you're raven guard my bad yeah, basically, Scolius has a love hate relationship, uh, relationship with his armor, and uh, he basically goes in battle naked because he hates her. <laughs> he hates her. <laughs> all right. Is that all you have to say about your character? Or are we going to find out more later on? Yeah. Okay. All right. Up next, our <sighs> our reigning crazy devastator marine, who is likely to get the whole squad killed. We have. Elias the Dark Angel, played by Firecat is one. Mortis Portis, brothers. We are here to stop the scourge that hits the doors. And we will destroy them all in our progress. And maybe complete the mission, I'm not quite sure. All I know is that we need to get rid of those doors. And that was Firecat. And last but not least, our helpful tech marine of the Blood Ravens chapter, he is going to be our penchant in our quest for knowledge and how to per, uh, how to proceed through this campaign. Please, everybody, welcome Thaddeus, uh, played by Lafleur. Hello. Um, this is going to be a supportive, hebo member of the squad with my little Soroskull Cutis, who doesn't actually exist. I am just slightly insane. And uh, my quest to collect anything that is not nailed down. Alright. So, with that, we have our main cast. For today, we're going to be playing the tutorial mission from the core rulebook called Extraction. What Extraction is, is a mission to the planet of uh, Cantabell in the uh, Jericho Reach. And during this mission, our fellow Space Marine, De or Death Watch Space Marines, are sent down to the planet surface of Tantalus to retrieve mag uh, a magus of the Adeptus Mechanicus. And as follows, we're going to read this paragraph aloud. Beneath the bloody cowl, a vox unit crackles into life, and an imperious voice barks out. Death Watch Kill Team is recognized. I am Magus Biologus Zardos Viacai. Code interrupt. Fa <laughs> code interrupt failure. There you go. You can imp imagine the crackle of whatever it is is causing this interference. I am injured and operating on emergency protocols. Warning. Warning. The full maintenance of consciousness is d d deviation. No longer possible. Lead me immediately to extraction. Omnicide bolt. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it means when it has these things in, in brackets. I'm just going to read them anyways, and we're going to get through it. Acknowledge compliance. <laughs> the swarm approaches. This moon dies. Acknowledge compliance. Message repeats. Mission to Tantalus. So, 
hearing this signal at the watchtower, you are sent out. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys right now, we're going to pick your captain. Who among you wants to be the captain for this mission? Obviously, it should be me. All right, well, it's a squad vote, so Fire Cat votes for himself. <laughs> Elias votes for uh, himself. I vote for Cannon Fodder. You vote for Cannon Fodder, okay. So, Sedonis okay, has one I... vote. As the man who is expected simply to hold a camera and try not to get shot, the camera can get back to the headquarters, I am not going to volunteer myself. I'm going to vote for the Devastator. You're going to vote for the Devastator? Okay, so Elias has two votes. Yeah, let's go with the Devastator. You're going to go with the Devastator? Okay. You guys are making Wait, me big... the Devastator is being the team the, captain? Yeah, the Devastator is considered the team captain from now on. Firecat, your only role... So, Firecat, as your role as the Devastator captain, you can pop any of your chapter attack formations, defense formations, and you also have access to choose an oath that you can take. Let me go find the oath really quickly. Um, basically, if you've... I think I wrote down your chapter uh, squad abilities, but if I haven't, uh, just ask me what they are and I can get them for you. But right off the bat, yeah, you guys have to take an oath. So the oaths work as they unlock. Basically, when you take an oath, it gives you all a bonus to that mission. <clears throat> you can choose not to take an oath, but then you don't get access to squad abilities. And specific oaths only give you access to specific abilities. I just need to find them really quick because I have not mastered this core rulebook. Uh, uh, mm, make noise. I think I want this one right here. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, they are not. I am bad at this. Uh, basics. I hey, literally. On the right, side, right side. I have a uh, plus 10 leadership checks. So. Yeah, so. Um. That will come in handy, and I'll actually have you roll roll a d5 for me in the chat really quickly. Um, and then add your fellowship bonus to that. Uh, let me pull out. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Well, I find. Roll a two, a and a... It's a four. It's a four? It's my fellowship bonus, yeah. Okay, you guys have four cohesion for your squad. Each squad ability costs a cohesion to maintain, and it refreshes with each combat. If you're in squad mode, which you guys could enter at the start of every turn as a full action. Um, and once you're in squad mode, you can leave it to go to solo mode for a free action. Um, let me just grab... Oh, taking. There it is. 288. 228. My bad. And I just smacked the mic with the pages. 228. Let me just get to your oats. And then we can get going. 228 is right here. All right, so your oaths that you can take are the oath of the Astartes, the oath to the emperor, an oath of glory, an oath of knowledge, oath of loyalty, and oath of the weapon. The devastator can only take the oath of the Astartes and the oath of the weapon. The oath of the Astartes adds two cohesion and grants you the squad mode abilities tactical advance, bolter assault, and tactical spacing. The oath of the weapon grants you it, you uh, grants you all ignores to uh, jams, and you can reroll tests to confirm righteous fury. Fire support and fire for effect and tank buster are your squad mode abilities. So you're gonna go ahead and pick one of those. If you need, to. can you read them again? Because I may or may not have been paying attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, off to a roaring start already. So you can either pick the oath of the Astartes or oath of the weapon. The Oath of the Astartes gives you plus two cohesion to your squad, requiring uh, allowing you to p use more squad abilities and take longer to break apart. Um, and it grants you access to the Tactical Advance, Bolter Advance, Assault, and Tactical Spacing squad mode abilities. The Oath of the Weapon ignores all jams, rerolls all tests to confirm Righteous Fury, and grants you the abilities of fire support and fire for effect, as well as tank buster. Hmm. You know, the oath of the weapon sounds good. Are you gonna? Is that your? Is that the oath you're gonna be taking? Because you can only take one. 
Yes. Okay, you will all take the Oath of the Weapon before descending on your mission. I will write down Fire Support, Fire Perfect, and Tank Buster for you so we remember what those are. And those are the only squad mode abilities you can call upon, besides your chapter squad mode abilities, which you can also ask me. <clears throat> so we still have our chapter abilities? or only No, no. Up? So only the squad leader has access to his chapter squad mode abilities. You all have access to your solo mode abilities, but only the squad leader can use the squad abilities. Well, hold on. So only the squad leader can use his chapter squad abilities. Everybody can call a squad mode abilities. And you can also choose to maintain them if they can be maintained. Fire support, fire perfect, tank buster, okay. All right. And with that, I think that is it. Yes, yes, here we go. And I'll tell you your mission objectives before we begin the narrative. Your mission objectives for this mission are to retrieve the Magus Viakai's data core. It's going to be on his person, and you'll find it with him at all times. Your secondary objective is to rescue, rescue the Magus himself. He is valuable to the Imperium and the war effort in the sector, allowing his death would diminish the success of the mission. There are tertiary objectives, which I will not be telling you of, but just know if you look in certain places away from the objective, you may find extra objectives to complete, which will also grant you with additional XP. Also, killing enemies in certain ways. And with that, and you knowing your mission objectives, which you can ask me to reconfirm for you anytime, I will go ahead and read the planet fall. You descend on wings of fire to the tormented earth of a dying world. Within the thunderous, claustrophobic hold of your drop pod, the assault on your senses, and the agonies the crushing G-force exert on your body would kill an ordinary man, while outside the armored ceramite burns like a falling star. But you are no ordinary man who endure this fiery trial. You are space marines, the emperor's chosen angels of death. Within your mind, you recall the mission briefing, replaying it with perfect clarity. The world below is Tantalus, a resource moon on the edge of, of the Castabel system, a system around which the jaws of the Great Devourer are tightening shut. Your minds focus on the goal of the mission, and you recall the last broadcast from the world's surface, an icy, harsh voice barking from the Voxnet through hollow static. Attention, Death Watch vessel Thunder's Word. This is Magus Biologus Zardos Viakai. My, my conveyance has been fatally damaged and forced to crash land en route to rendezvous zone. I survived the data core. I survive. The data core survives. I require immediate extraction from this location. The swarm approaches. Crash site unsafe. I will seek shelter nearby until your arrival. The data core must survive and be retrieved. Location in Carta follows. I will set this message to repeat as long as the anima endures. The message ends. The voice cut off and was followed by a rapid chatter of sacred binary code before beginning again. The swarm, five hours and counting, five hours until the whole area swept clear of life under an unholy tide of fang, venom, and claw. Five hours, five hours and counting. The retro thrusters hammer into you like a blow from an enraged god. The drop pod doors blast open, and you spring forth from your crash harness. Power armor systems already engage, auto senses tracking, weapons in hand. The daylight wanes, and through your suit's filters, you detect two pervading scents on the bitterly cold air, burning chemicals in human blood. Welcome to Tarantis. Hmm. Alright, let's see, where's that? There's a giant sign that says, Welcome to Tarantis. <laughs> well, we're planted one now, I guess. Let's take All a look right. at this map. So, where on the map have we landed? You've at landed just four. You've no, you've landed just you may near. May want to swap to the map. Yeah, let me open up the map here. Thank you. Uh, no there it is. 
So if you landed right next to number one on the center of the map, and on oh, the distance, cool. you see the jagged scar of the crash has left in the scorched black earth is visible long before you come to the broken body of the shuttlecraft itself. Once a mighty machine, the spearhead-shaped Kestrel-class interplanetary light, uh, lighter lies shattered against a rutted bank of earth, ramped up by its crash landing, its back broken and its hull plating torn apart like paper. Despite the ruin of the wreckage, it is apparent that this ship's reactor and fuel lines did not rupture on impact, for otherwise there'd be nothing left here but a glowing crater. The doors in the rear armored prow compartment bang or hang open where their emergency explosive bolts had been loosened for the occupants to escape but there is no sign of them or any other life. How would you like to proceed? All right, uh, I'm going to use perception, my perception to search the craft for anything of use that would help um, us in our search for okay. the Magnus. All right. The wreck of the shuttlecraft leaves little evidence save for the violence of its crash landing. Searching within reveals that four crewmen including the pilot, died on impact. Their bodies left where they died. Several servitors were also either pulverized or shredded in the central hold as the shuttle started to come apart. In the control compartment, various post-craft modifications have been made to the shuttle's broadcast Fox system. It is doubtless the source of the Megas last transmission, an act that appears to have irre irretrievably burned it out in the process. Power on board the wreck has proper, was properly shut down before it was abandoned. Uh, so there's no power on the ship? There's no power on the ship except for that console. Okay. Yeah, so basically like only acting as a beacon. Console. What's up? I think we should investigate the console. Okay. And it shouldn't be me who investigates the console. Okay. It should be you. It should not be me. Oh. It should who, be the tech marine. Who would, yeah, who would? Uh, I guess I'll investigate it. So how do I do this? You can either use your tech use test or an intelligence test. Hmm. So what's the difference between my tech use test and my intelligence test? The tech use test is a routine plus 10 test and the intelligence is a negative 20. So... I would suggest using your tech use to find out what happened. Alright, I'll use my tech use then. Alright. Roll a... Roll a d100. So, not... Like, roll two d10s. Or, actually, no. Just roll a d100, because we can do that in Death Watch. In the, in the, in the Discord. My intelligence is 50, and then I have tech use of being trained so, what so tech use trained means you don't you're you're you use your whole you use your whole intelligence so you only you have to roll up to a 60 you have to roll a 60 or below to pass the test apparently the bot gave him a 60 table watch repositories no oh okay so you pass the test I don't know what. Don't roll in table watch, uh, table RPG. Roll in death watch rolls. Sorry, I put in the wrong one. Yeah, you put in the wrong one. But I'll I'll count it. So you pass the test. Uh, after studying the rig, you will you determine that it was it has been pro expertly repurposed to boost its signal strength and properly anointed with the rites of extreme unction of the cult mechanicus, which is undoubtedly the work of the magus. You may, uh, I think that's that's pretty much all there is left to the crash site, though, other than the bodies. How would you, how would you all like to proceed? I would like What's to peddle on the bodies. bodies. What's up? What's on the bodies? Nothing. I want to poke one of the bodies. It shifts underneath oh. your mighty poke and crumples to the ground. Well, well, I'm asking, like, what are they? Are they death and mechanicus bodies? Are they no, human bodies? No, they're, I already said they're, they're crewmen and servitors. Okay, I'm talking about what type of crewmen. Navy crewmen. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave the craft and uh, keep watch with my uh, poor perception. Okay. Okay, I'd like to take a walk around the, uh, the crash site 
and see if I, I ah, if I can find some track uh, left by the Magos. Okay. Um, so as you look around the trash, uh, crash site, um, roll a d100, please. For tracking? For tracking. It has a negative 10. It's a difficult test. Ah, fuck. Mm -hmm. I believe that's intelligence. Ooh. I don't... What no, was perception. Your perception? What was your perception? My perception is, 40, is 44. 44? You do not make the perception test. But... Alright. The Magus yeah, flew away. Yeah. The, the Magus... You can see that there are footprints in the sand, but they do not seem to lead anywhere. I would yeah, like to... Uh, I would like to search for signs of Xeno filth. All right, take a perception test. I think Q just have to go on, go out, to go out. You have no companions in this, so the the servo skull cannot assist you in this action. I already told you it doesn't exist. I have forty-eight perception, so I fail. You fail just yep. barely. Flat. All right. Um. So, something must have been used to modify the radio. So I'll see if I can't look at the components, figure out what it might have come from. Um. What role would that be? Uh, there's no test to be made. You can't determine what where the components came from. It's sort of just they sort of just jury rigged it with whatever was around. Um, All right. So was it just from the craft, or was it from? The yes, back? it's just from the craft itself. Okay. It's sort of um, it's sort of expert. Like none of you, save for the maybe the tech marine, could figure that out. But he already has. Um, all could, right then. You could try examining one of the servitors. Okay. Yes, that is actually. Yeah, I'll I'll check the uh, servitors themselves and see what. Uh, I'll roll perception, and I'll actually use the discord for this. Cause despite the fact that I have physical dice in front of me, I'm pretty sure you want to actually see the results. Yeah, I just want to see the results. The soldiers were 100% dead. They are, but you could possibly see. Oh, that's a Jesus critical fail. Fuck. I don't see jack fucking shit. All right. You could I... po you could possibly check with their. Uh, Technological inworkings to see if they have any images that you could look at to get a to get a a feel. No power nearby. Well, no, the serv the servitors are powered units. They're not robots. Yeah. Remember, the Imperium doesn't use robots. They might have data cores in their heads that you can check if you uh, know the yeah. lore. All right. <clears throat> so I need to do. Do you I can, need to do a lore check? You can either tech do use? a tech you can either do a tech use test or a challenging forbidden lore adeptus mechanicus test. Which since you have the adeptus mechanicus lore, it's just a D one hundred on your intelligence. Do I also get a bonus since I have my book and gives me bonuses for Yeah, plus you roll three. yeah, you roll the you add the intelligence bonus onto your test. Okay. And the plus three because of my book? Yes. Uh, you just add yeah. that on. So I want to do the Depths Mechanicus then, since I already have Depths Mechanicus knowledge. Okay, go ahead and roll. And you succeed. From what you can recover from the servitor's uh, data drives, it, it, which is displayed in your Auspex display, it shows a grainy green tinted picture of a Hormagant's flashing claws in a brief, desperate fight viewed from ground level. Showing the savage deaths of the two, of the of the of the two naval men that had initially survived, despite a valiant attempt at defense, quickly coming into view, a looming figure in a quartered black and white cowled robe fights back in deadly combat with the lightning quick monsters flailing and striking with whirling mechanical limbs and unleashing scarring searing blasts of energy at them. The figure is victorious, but a dark stain clearly and rapidly spreads across its cowl, and as it staggers out of the fallen servitor's field of vision, it shortly breaks up thereafter and fails into darkness. Are there, are there other servitors I can inspect? Or is no, that's, that's the only one that you can. Okay. Do we have a lead, or do we have to search in one? You're gonna, you might have to start searching in one direction. Uh. 
You can head north, south, east, or west. <laughs> I would like to look for um, look for the, the biggest ship? building nearby. Did I get a detail of where the ship was heading? The ship? It's it was flying in the atmosphere. It got it crits a crash land. Mm. All right, I am going to see if I can't find any tracks myself. Is that okay? Okay. Roll a There's hard. No. Roll a hard negative twenty on your perception. Jesus fuck. Don't fail me now, 52 perception, please. Ooh. Jesus fuck, I'm just the, gonna roll my own dice. The, the, it's ground, gonna hit me 90s. the ground conditions are too far too hard for you to provide to provide I'm a like reasonable to idea the of the general building. Game. Is there yeah. anything on the naval crewmen or anything inside the, the flight deck? Nope. There's nothing on not, either of them. They don't have a black box. No, they do not have a black box, and it wouldn't tell you. It wouldn't tell you anything other than the the, the plane crashed. Uh, the, informa like the information the in the so. shuttle is in inconsequential inconsequential to your mission, as it wouldn't have provided you with information detailing where the Magus would have fled to in this instance. I would like to look for a building that seems like the tallest building out of the nearby structures. To the southeast, you can see a bunker. And perhaps a radio tower far off into the distance. Let's go to the bunker. Yeah. Let's go to the bunker? Okay. That, if I was running from some Xeno filth, that's where I would run. Would you like to move at a normal pace, a quick pace, or a fast pace? I would say we should move at a normal pace, just because we're in a rush, but the faster we move, the worse off we're going to be. Okay. Caution before death. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna roll a 1d5. 3, okay. So. And. One second. And a 1d100. All right. After a quick walk, you arrive at the, the bunker fortification. Surrounded by razor wire fence on which are hung several notices warning that trespassers face death stands a small armored bunker. Littered about the ground before it are the shredded remains of nightmarish bat-like creatures that you recognize as tyrannid shrikes. The automated heavy bolters which crown the bunker's roof, and which are probably which ha probably caused their demise, now hang silent and deactivated. The bunker and its armored door appear intact. I would like to knock on the door. The bunker's door is deadlocked from within, and requires considerable force to open. There is no answer to your knock. I would like to punch the door. The door has an AP of 15 and 30 points of damage. Required are required to break it. Roll for damage. I'm punch. I'm punching the door, so I'm rolling my strength. Yeah, roll your strength. Fifty-five. I fuck it up. Wait, no, we get plus twenty strength because of power armor, so I've got sixty-two strength. Not yeah, sixty-two strength. It's times two strength because you're a space marine. Yeah. Oh no, servo augmented mus muscle collation. No, as in plus as 20. a base space. No, as a base space marine, you have times two toughness. So, so uh, if you originally had 52 tough, no, if you had no, times two I'm toughness. I'm saying strength. I have 44 strength, okay. so plus 20. So you have 88 strength, because it's times so two, plus, and then plus, you plus so 20 to that. Strength. Yes. Um, okay. However, damage from punches is, if memory says correct, 1d5 take. Yeah. 3 plus strength bonus. Yeah, so which in this case would be 8. Yeah, so 1d5 plus 8. 5 plus 8. Nine you, you do 9 damage to it. Actually, you do no damage to it. The AP of the door absorbs the damage. I'm content with myself since I have punched the door. Is there any kind of console or similar that could be used to um, contact people inside the bunker? There are nothing. There is no no console. Nothing. It's it's shut off. There's no there's I would no like way to, to back up ten meters and aim my weapon at the door. Oh fuck! I'm dodging. Okay. <laughs> is Run there away. cabling? 
Is the cabling connected to the bunker, or at, or is it just completely isolated? It's completely isolated. Like, the, the only way into the bunker is through this door. Are you sure you want to blow All it right, down? I am, I I'm am aiming going at the to... door. I'm okay. not opening fire just yet. Okay, you're, he's aiming at the door, okay. I'm going to immediately get out of the way. Just roll for damage, he's by the way. Just roll for damage, by the way, because it's not an enemy. Well, it's an immobile object. I would be very embarrassed if a space marine couldn't hit a big fucking. No, exactly. I'm not firing yet. I'm waiting on you guys. Okay, they're all, they've all moved uh, out of the way. I'm not opening fire until I have a reason to blow it up. All right, what do you guys hey. want to do? Do you want him to fire? Uh, I'm, I'm... a tech marine. Mm hmm. Couldn't you use your servo arm to open that? I could. I was waiting until you guys got done doing what you guys were doing. No, I was trying to see if there's a different way in. Apparently, there isn't. I was gonna try climbing on top of the bunker and just viewing through the slit. There's no slits. It's an enclosed no, bunker. It's completely enclosed. It's completely closed? enclosed. Yep. Is Where there is any the vent uh, ventilation or similar? There is yeah. ventilation, but it's too small for a space marine to fit through. We. Mm. It's a weak point. We can bust in through there, if we wanted to. It is a structural weakness. Yes. Well, I could. Could I use one server on the bus down the? Yes, you could. Fire cat. Instead of just wasting bullets, why don't you just let me bust down the door with my server? Bullets are faster. Uh, not necessarily. Plus, we have that a amount of ammunition. Plus, you're also in hostile territory. Are you sure you want to let off your weapon so carelessly? Yes. Okay, it's your funeral. It's the captain's orders. Okay, squad. I mean, I'm cool. saying if you got a better idea, do it. I was gonna use my server arm. Okay, Ela Floor, just go ahead. He he's giving you the leeway. Go ahead and use your server arm. Okay, Roll so... your servo arms damage. Okay, so uh two D ten. Seven plus fourteen. Fourteen. So you do and that's pen of ten. Pen of ten. So you do. Uh, so it only has five AP. You do fourteen. You do nine points of damage to the door, as you do as you start smack as you start peeling the door back with your um. Servo arm. You uh, it starts giving away, and it, it it looks like it will breach. Uh, if you continue this action, would you like to continue this action? I would like to continue this action. Okay, but do it. Do oh it gosh. slowly. Roll damage again. It's weak. It's like weak. To... It's weakened, so now it only has five uh, AP. I only want to see inside before I actually fully tear it down. Okay. Fourteen, 14. plus fourteen. Uh, twenty-eight. Plus twenty-eight. You completely punch through the end. The you completely punch through the door, though. Given your actions of wanting to peek through, you pull, you peel back the door with much more ease, and leave yourself a little view hole uh, to peek through. You can obviously continue and pull the door off without mm -hmm. having to roll more damage. What do I see inside? Uh, inside, uh, there is little within the gore splattered bunker of use to the kill team. However, if the kill team uses the death wall, uh, oh sorry, my bad, I'm reading ahead. Within is a scene of carnage. The large single room is strewn with the disembow dismembered remains of provost enforcers. Just barely, you can see through that small little slit that you've pulled yourself, a giant hole yawns in the center of the floor, leading to a collapsed dirt tunnel beneath. Would you right. would you like to rip off the door and? Uh, Check inside. I like to rip off the door and get out of the way. The so door is ripped off its off. hinges. Okay. That, yeah, rip it off and I would like to move out of the way. Alright. You can all... The door... The, the bunker is now open. You can all enter it if you would like. Alright, I'm gonna check to see if there's anything set up around the door or anything. Because paranoid people do dangerous things. Alright. You don't have to roll perception. There's nothing inside the bunker. Um. So... What what is, are you just look are you just like sort of peeking inside the bunker to see if there's anything? Yeah, basically. Yeah. You just see what Lafleur sees. There's nothing other than the giant hole in the center of the bunker. I would like to enter the bunker. Okay, you enter the bunker. 
and uh, what you find is there's little within the gore splattered bunker of use to you and your kill team. However, if the kill team, if you can, if you you notice that there is a console over on the far wall, perhaps if you use your death watch override codes on it, or make a successful tech use test, you can probably get the security reports for the facility. Can I jack into it too, or can I not do that? You can. All right. I wish to jack into it. Does that help me out with my rolls, or does that just? It's already a routine plus ten tech test, so I would add another plus ten to that. All right. So I'm plugging. I'm plugging into it, and I'm gonna try to get the feed, the security feedback. Okay. While you're at while you're at it, you should turn on the heavy bolt. You should see the um. IFF well, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the report. Now I'm gonna do. All right, you guys are. You guys are safe. We got. We should check on the turrets as well and see what the uh, current codes All right, are. What did you? Like what did you roll? Sixty six. What's your intelligence? Fifty. And then I have plus ten since I have. You have plus. You have two plus twenty. So, you're fifty, and you roll the sixty six. You beat it. Uh, in the terminal, you find the you find the security. The terminal convenes with you and and, and uh, informs you of the security situation throughout the facility. It informs you that the main refinery has been compromised. The defensive systems are inoperable, and multiple bulkhead breaches are present. No further information is available for the main refinery. You find al also that the workers' blockhouse has had a full system failure. Last file recording available. Uh, the recording briefly shows a static-filled screen with the sound of hideous screaming in the background before abruptly cutting off. And finally, the comms uplink that is just on the hill behind you. Security nominal. Two servitor units reporting area secure. Mm-hmm. Can I jack to the, can I talk to the servitors or no? No, this, uh, you can't talk to the servitors from here. All right. What else may I do from this? Was... Nothing. You can you can either choose to you can choose to unjack now and then you guys can move on, or that's pretty much all there is in the bunker at the moment. Okay. And everything else is offline, correct? Everything else is offline. That yeah, the turrets are inoperable. They cannot be reached through the console. All right, that's fine. Uh, um, can I get status report of structural soundness of the nearby area of the bunker? Is that not possible? To it's do? not possible at the current time. There's n the other than the giant hole. The giant hole is clearly a big issue. Yeah. Well, I was gonna find out if the if the structure knows it's if it's compromised underneath, like if it's a huge ass tunnel or if it's just a small burrow. Oh, you also the, the before you before you unjack from the terminal, you also find out that this information has recently been accessed from another lo remote location, possibly around Sector 9, the main control area of the facility. All right. To the so northeast, guess... northwest. All right, so we need to head northwest from here then. Mm hmm Or we can go to the hole. Or you can go, I would not go in that hole. Why would you jump in the hole? I don't want to go in the hole now. There is something definitely in the hole, and perhaps you guys shouldn't hang out for very long. Uh, I don't I, like that. I want to, I want to go in the hole. You want to go in the hole? Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? I don't, you dude told us not to go in the hole. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, we should really go in the hole now. I mean, we are going we'll go in the hole later. <laughs> you can go in the hole later. You yeah. guys can choose right now. Are you going to stay and look at the hole, or are you going to leave? I am going I to, leave. to leave. We're going. We're leaving. Okay. We're going. Okay. Let's throw some grenades in the hole and then jump in. You wanna? You wanna throw the grenade? Okay. I, For real okay. now. Okay. Decide. Uh, the next thing you say is what's happening. The next thing you say is I, what's happening. I'm okay. going to leave the bunker. We should, we should step back. One, right one now at a one at a time. One at a time, please. So the floor. We should leaving. decide as a team. Do we want, want to go and get the asset, which is probably at the main control area? Or do we want to jump in this very inviting hole? I mean, you're the boss, man. The, the no. I'm going to oh, stay man. out. Of, I don't like it. I don't want to go. I into think it. we but should go problem. to the main control area first, then come back here after we could get the, and then head take, into the hole. I have to take a willpower test to decide if I jump into the hole. And oh fuck! Yeah, you I, do. I, I you do. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go to the hole, but now that you guys have pointed out the knowledge that could be down there. Oh no. 
Oh no. Also, if he uh, jumps in there. Um, also, you might be coming back here later. You pass the will. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Team, you, yeah. Thank God. You also, you might be coming back here later because perhaps the com relay at the top of the hill behind the bunker is an opportune place to get extracted. There's some GM information. Hint, hint. Nudge, nudge. Yeah, no, I'm All staying. Right. Like what I was saying, we will come. We will get the asset. We'll get them out of here. And then we'll go back into the hole and figure after out the, the hell's in after the after I have thought after Thaddeus thought it over for a few moments, he has decided that it's not worth to investigate the hole yet. He'll come back for this knowledge. Okay. All right. We're all consent. We will find out what's down the hole later. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not. I just don't want to know what's down the hole. Yeah, you really don't. And you can already we'll find out it, what's down the hole later. You can already get attacked by them when walking around. Um, okay. <laughs> you all leave the bunker, and what in what direction would you like to proceed? Would you like to proceed to the straight north and check out area six, and then make your way to the control center, or would you like to go exactly to the control center? I like to head north for a little bit and get within view of it just to see the surrounding area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, right, but this is a little ways off, okay. so we can view the area. Yeah, see what's happening over Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do two dice here, because you're all moving. Yeah, out. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue following along. One D five. That's <coughs> okay. I would like wow. to I would like to add a marker at this location that states big hole investigation required. Okay. Oof, oof, oof. First combat, are you guys ready? Oh, Oh. This comes flying back to me, warning me about. <laughs> Thank you, cutest. <laughs> you <laughs> game master fucking creams pants. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Oh no! That's awful for you guys. We have to do it. We want. What was in the hole? Come... If we no longer need to investigate the hole, the hole has come to investigate us. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we get. This is what we get for taking too long in the bunker and investigating. No, this is just what you get for walking out in the, in the open. Um, because you guys are on a Tyranid world, uh, a world that's getting invaded by the Tyranids. You look up in the sky, and you see, oh, that's 1d5. Roll 1d5. And you see three strikes coming at you from the air. They are Tyranid warriors. If you don't know what a strike is, it's Tyranid warriors with wings. And they come screeching down at you, Attack! they attack from the sky. I do not like this. Do we have, do, do we have time to shoot at them? Or you like can all take a reaction. But oh, I would first. I, but I would first. But I would first ask you all to roll a D uh, D one hundred for initiative. I hit them with my what's servo the arm. Uh, what did, what's the modifier? Uh, absolutely nothing. We just roll for initiative. Okay, I got a four. Actually, uh, no, it's your it, agility initiative. bonus, isn't it? Or oh. It, no, okay, so um, initiative is D ten plus agility bonus. Oh, D ten. My bad. One D ten. One D ten. Plus three. Three. D10. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grab the adversary sheet here to get the stats for the strikes. Or... I got 11. I got a 13. You got a 13. Oh, nice. I got 11. All right. I got 11 as well. And... All right. We all know what's gonna uh, happen. The... Oh no, Here I'm just, I'm just gonna roll 1d10 for them, and they get a seven. So you all, so who got, who beat what? Okay. Oh yeah, plus five. So they got. Wait, oh, yeah. actually, they got 12. So they go ahead, so they beat out I, you, uh... I know, I just realized mine would have been 12, because oh, my oh. armor thing is plus one to initiative. Oh, okay, so, okay, so you beat out them, okay. Um, everybody goes before the strike, so you can all take a reaction. Um... I'm firing ten rounds out of my heavy bolter, because my heavy bolter... That is, a, that is a full action, not a reaction. You cannot do that. I cannot... Uh, I guess we're dodging. Yeah, you can. You Wait, can, is you can is only full auto half it? Oh, I, I remember. No, full no, auto. no, my heavy bolter only has full auto. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no. I just remember something else. Shooting is a action. Is a full action, not a reaction. Well, no, it's a half action, but it can't be used as a. I mean, you, you yeah, know. yeah. So, so um, reaction is dodge, parry. Yeah. I don't know if there's more options. I, but those are two that's come to I need to here, I'll pull up the combat. I'm gonna, like to I'm gonna pull up the combat on one sheet 
And uh, but yeah, still just you in the Watch terrible. campaign, or are you only sticking to a set player count? Oh, uh, sorry, Shinigami, I didn't see your comment. Anybody can join us in the Death Watch campaign, but I'm going to limit it to six people. So only we only have two slots open at the moment. Basically, yeah, uh, we're going to have. I think we can have at least eight people that double the player count normally. So six people at the minimum. I mean, four people at the minimum, eight at the maximum. So up to two people could join us. Because um, we already have two others who are interested in joining. Um, let me just pull up the Death Watch. Pull, bring this over to my stream screen because I don't need the other thing. Uh, and bring the Twitch thing up here. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the adversaries really quick. There's the Tyranid Warriors and the... Fuck. <laughs> and the fuck. Uh, what am I doing? Eloquent. A combat. Combat. Eloquent. Combat. That's what I was doing. Thank you. Yes. Very eloquent. Um, we're, we're, we're double checking reactions. <laughs> yeah, we're double checking reactions really, really quickly. Actions. I, I want to shoot them, and that might not be a reaction that we can do. That is not a reaction. Reactions are dodge, parry, um, and assassin strike is not it. Two, three, four. I wish I. Could. I wish it would tell me. Initiative. Okay, we already rolled for the initiative. That's fine. Um, Combat actions. Dodge is a reaction. Reaction is a special action in response to someone such an attack. The, reaction, the character receives one reaction each round, which can only be used when it is not his turn. Examples include dodge, test, or parrying an attack. Yeah, so you can either dodge... Yeah. Oh, here. Here they are. Okay, yeah. Uh, parry. Dodge or parry. Yeah, dodge or parry. Okay, I'm going to... Dodge or parry, dodge. and skills can take off. All right, yep. Yeah, I'll dodge. Because they were already in the middle of the attack? Okay. Go ahead and roll your dodge skill, which is your agility bonus. I mean, your I agility... have physical dodge. Wait, what? Is it, it? I got physical dice in front of me, okay. so I'm gonna roll these. Is it one d ten? Yeah, only three of you have to roll it, so because there's only three um, of them. So uh, everybody dodge. else roll except me because I've got three. <laughs> I've got a three agility bonus. No, um, dodge is you roll agility. You roll agility because okay. everyone's got dodge base. Okay. I meant just because um, there's only and... three enemies, so only three people can take damage. Yes, that's correct. Okay, um, oh, yeah, okay, so, okay, so yeah, make the dodge right. roll, and if you don't make it, you take damage. Somebody should succeed. So, yeah, even roll 1d10, and I gotta roll above? Yeah, no, it's because they've already they've already attacked. They're already attacking. Oh. They're, they're striking down at you. I, I failed okay, as well. Uh, I failed. I passed by two factors. You pass by two factors of success? Yes, I success. Okay, so because you... I have an agility of 58. Hell yeah, boy. And the floor definitely passes. There's no there's no, there's no, no modifiers against you here. So two of you take damage. One of them misses. Um, and the other one... So if you dodge... Since you successfully dodge, you can go ahead and pick uh, where you want to go. And I'm going to roll for damage against the people who missed. Are there any? Is there any cover or anything like that? Anymore? No, you're in an open field. You can, you're just you're just dodging out of the way. There's no cover. Oh yeah, we lose one cohesion because one of us takes at least one wound. No, it's uh, ten wounds loses a cohesion, and it only affects one time per. It, it affects one time per person. Uh, so they are. They have a weapon skill of fifty five. Roll 100, or uh, 2d100. Both of them miss. Both of, the, both, of, no, both of them miss. Both of them miss. They, they, they streak at you, and they miss their claw attacks. Okay. Um, and, the, they, and they all what? crash into the ground. They're now standing in front of you. All right. Um, um, okay, I think I know the exact solution here. Um, full auto heavy bolter into the backs of them all. All right. Uh, that is lesser skill. Yes, lesser skill at a neg ten, which is full auto. Mm -hmm. Do you all agree that we're gonna go just full out of these bastards in their back? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one by one, please roll your ballistic skill. 
Uh, right. Let me do it first. Yeah. All right, heavy bolter boy first. <laughs> heavy bolter okay. hits. Fourteen. Heavy bolter. What's your what's your ballistic skill? You have degrees of My success. My build's ballistic skill is fifty-two. You have de- oh fifty-two. Oh, you passed by four. four factors, which four factors, which means you've hit for passing, and then for every additional factor, you got an additional hit, which means you hit them five times. You have five, five shots. Um, you have three opponents. How many bullets are you dedicating for each? Um, fifty-fifty. So you have three opponents. You can't fifty-fifty yeah. three opponents. <laughs> and you have how many shots do I get? Five. Five. You have you have five shots that hit. How are you going to distribute them? Two, two, one. All right. Then. Two, two, one. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So hold on. Here, just, I've got. I've got to roll this. Here's the first two shots. Okay. So cool. solid about forty damage. Okay. Hold on. Does each of those get a plus ten? Yep. Wait a second. Plus, it's two D ten plus ten explosive. Plus Wait a second. I need to double check ending. something. That's what a heavy I need to... Stardis heavy bolter does. Yeah, I need to double check something. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's tearing. Times and All right. Bigger... What's that? All right. Uh, I'm gonna say something, and it's gonna be important. All right. So tearing means that you roll an additional dice, and then you take the highest. So because the heavy bolter is tearing, um, you will roll three dice and then take the two highest for damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So roll they, they all three, they have an eight, they have an AP of eight, by the way. So so roll three d ten and then I take the highest out of those. Yeah, roll three d ten and then take the highest two. All right, so three one one. So you so take the three and the one, which is four plus five, um, which it. Uh, Four plus ten in correction because it's a heavy bolter. So fifteen. Which is fourteen pen six. Pen six. Okay, so they negate two of the damage. You do twelve damage to one of them. Okay, that's the first shot. Second shot, please. Second shot. Nine and eight. Nine and eight. Nine and eight, which is seventeen. Seventeen plus ten, twenty-seven. Warrior. Twenty-seven Warrior. pen six. Uh, so you do twelve damage to one. So he's got thirty-six HP. Warrior 2, what's the second damage? 27. 2, 27, holy fuck. So he's got 21 wounds left. Alright, Warrior 3 is only one shot. Third shot, please. Yeah, third this shot. This is shot number 3, so the first one took 27 plus 15. 27 plus 15? Yep. Yeah, because it's, I'm dedicating that's the... two shots. Oh fuck! Yeah, this is the third shot. This is the third wait, shot. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, you're rolling per shot. Wait, are you rolling per shot? Yeah. Oh yeah, you shit! Have to do oh push. fuck! Okay, okay, okay. I was, I was fucking. Okay, hold on, hold on. I was not paying attention there. Okay, so he takes twenty-seven. So he's got, he's got, he takes twelve and twenty-seven. So yeah, thirteen. Both of pen six. So Both of pen six. Armor doesn't. Yeah, armor doesn't block. It. Well, armor blocks two damage um, each shot. Yep, and then you also got the, the toughness bonus. Toughness bonus is um, is also their damage soak. Oh, their damage soak? He's yeah, got a mighty shot like it. He's got a toughness uh, of... I do not have mighty shot. I did not take it. He's I got took a... He's got a toughness of 50? Instead. He's got a toughness of 50, which means that he has negated 5. Okay, so... Because that is his toughness bonus. Uh, yeah, so 21. Or no, no, yeah, tw- uh, 18, 18, 18. 18 so there we go, first shot... Yeah, so 18 plus whatever, you know what I mean. Alright, and then third shot, this is the third shot that you just rolled? Third shot. 18 plus... 5 plus 7, which is... 12. 12 plus 10, 22. 22. So 5. 22, pen 6. And then 9 plus 8, which is 17 plus 10 is 27. So he's down to 20, so- 27... So it's gonna be forty-five total off of two shots on this next guy. So forty-five total. Okay, yeah, forty-five. So he's down to three wounds. Holy fuck! You almost killed one of them. And then last one, single shot. Last only. shot is nine. Is twenty-nine nine, damage. No, nine and a ten. Uh, uh, because you got a ten, that means it's an emperor. Could you re-roll? Uh, could you roll that one again? Uh, so yeah, just roll a ten, single d10. Yeah, ten's a zero. Okay. Yep. So that's a um. So that's a ten plus two, which is twelve, and a nine, no, which makes it. Oh my god. Uh, Twenty-one. Yeah. No. Twenty-two plus ten. Twenty-two plus ten. Thirty-two. Yeah. 
So 48 minus 32, that is 16. They're all... Wow, okay, so Firecast is going to murder everything. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, um... Oh, 16, and then plus their... Oh, wait, hold on. Plus, plus, I forgot. Plus their... Plus yeah, their AP. So you, you gotta... I gotta remember the AP. I almost gave you guys easy kills. Um, yeah, plus um, the AP, AP so that's five. they have eight. Ten? Okay, so Warrior 1's at 18, Warrior 2's at 10, and Warrior 3 is at 16, I want to say. Okay, then. All right, you guys clear them up. <laughs> okay. Who's turn is it? Yeah, who's turn is it? <laughs> Who, who okay, wants, so um, next? Good. so after that we go initiative order. So who rolled highest for initiative after? I think it was me with thirteen. Thirteen. Um, did anyone else roll higher than thirteen for initiative? I have only two initiative. Well, screw it. Um, there we go. He's got it. Uh, take your shots. Okay, so I have two action per turn, right? Mm -hmm. You have you ha yeah you have two half action. Okay, full auto. What kind of action is it? Uh, full round. That is a half or... action. Yeah. Half full action. Full. Yeah, full auto is a half action. Oh, I still have a okay. half action left. <clears throat> you, you can take you aim. Did two aim. full auto bursts. Yeah, you did two full auto bursts. Oh you, yeah. You can take aim and increase your chance to hit by ten. By the way, or you can just shoot. Yeah. Nah, I'm gonna shoot him. First, I want to attack the closest uh, warrior I have. Okay. Attack the closest yeah. to me. All right, so I would. I'm gonna go ahead and just assign that randomly because I'm not. I don't have a. I don't have a yeah, board. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hey, go. My, uh, I'm, I'm, really gonna, I'm, short, gonna, right? I'm gonna assign. Uh, wait, what? You're, yeah, you're pretty short. Like they, they tried to sweep down at you guys and they missed, but so they crashed into the ground and sort of like tumbled themselves back up onto their feet. Okay, because we have a uh, plus ten to it if if they are at short range. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll your ballistics. Uh, Wait a second. You're you're targeting Warrior Three, by the way. I'm gonna assign Warrior Three to being closest to you. Okay. Fast attack. Attack. Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, roll it properly so it actually rolls, please. Yeah, no. Okay. The Twenty-seven. 27? What's your ballistic skill? It's well. My ballistic skill is uh, forty-five. Uh, Fifty-four. Fifty-four. But I get uh, take ten for being a tactical marine. Uh, plus another plus ten because it's um. Short range, a plus 20 because they fall uh, auto. So it's 94. No, um, it's, uh, wait. Is it still, is it still plus in Deathwatch? Yeah. I think. I would assume. Wait a second, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, full load is plus 20. Never mind. Yeah, so I hit with all, uh, for sure. Oh, oh, full load of burst is a full action. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh... I have a full action. Yeah, full, uh, full, hold on, where is it, where is it? Full auto burst, full action, attack range, plus 20 to ballistic skill, additional hit for every degree of success. Yeah, it gets four yes. hits. <laughs> yeah, so you get, so all your shots hit, basically. Four, you got four shots in, um, and is it just uh, the closest? Uh, yeah, it's, it, he's hitting Warrior 3. This is an elite, by the way, so he does suffer from critical wounds. Normal, normal enemies just instantly die when you negate their wounds to zero. All right, so yeah, okay. All four wounds hit. So unless he, so that's the first. Wait a second. First attack is uh, nine twenty three, but I rolled a uh, I a ten. Wait a second. So yeah, um, so it's a six plus ten. I'll roll that. Uh, roll another dice and then add it to the result. Fine. Yep. So fifteen uh, plus six. Is twenty one plus? Uh, you are using a bolter. Yeah. Yeah, he's using a bolter, so plus five. Yeah, plus five. Uh, oh yeah, plus five, and then plus two again because because uh, I'm, uh, tactical. Yeah. So yeah, plus seven. So yeah, so that is twenty one plus seven. Pen five. Pen five. Okay, so they have armor eight, and so armor eight so it negates three damage. And then forget their toughness bonus also oh, negates. Yeah, three so. damage and five damage. So seven they negate eight damage in total, but how much damage did you do? Twenty something? Twenty uh twenty seven. Twenty seven? Okay, so Yeah. You do nineteen, he's he's critical critical plus three. Uh critical three explosive. 
Critical three explosive, fun. so that is. Fuck, where is that? Oh fun. god. Critical there. damage tables. Critical free explosive. Um, let's just go I body because things. because I cannot be uh, bothered checking that out. Critical free. The explosion destroys whatever armor protects the body. If the target wore none, the target is blown backwards 1d10 meters as above, yeah. but the target mm. takes two level fatigue. Okay, you every sh meter. completely shatter his uh, his um, chitin armor, so he now no longer has any armor and he's on critical. Guys, I don't <laughs> double fuck. Second on the attack. I, I don't Jesus think this Christ, guy's double attack. critical. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna declare him fucking dead if it's double critical, so that's... Yeah, no, yeah, he's definitely dead. There's nothing, he can't live through that. So, he, he, so, that's explosive critical to the chest. You basically explode. Ten plus. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, pieces of the target's body fly in all directions as he is torn into bloody giblets. In addition, um, he is not carrying any ammunition nor is he carrying any explosives. However, um, everyone within 1d10 meters of the target is drenched in gore. Um, Which means he, drenched in gore. Uh, and his friends who are right next to him need to make an agility test or suffer or, or, be co or have their Ooh, weapon skill and ballistic skill penalized because there's blood in their eyes, basically. You just turn you turn around after dodging the devastators hail of bullets and empt and dump two more rounds into the warrior the the shrike closest to you as you do his chest explodes covering your covering your visor with gore your your scout marine goggles or whatever the hell you're wearing. bloody mist blood, blood oh. just a just a fine red my, mist my GoPro my GoPro no yeah good no. good idea. Was it to bring guns to a melee fight? Since you were wearing goggles, Ours however, you do not suffer the negative to aim because you just wipe it off. But that is one Shrike dead. There are two more remaining, and you guys have two more shots at them. Alright, uh, who would like to go next? Because I'll go last. <clears throat> LaFleur, would you like to go next? Is he even here? Did he walk away? LaFleur! I muted my mic. Oh, you muted my mic. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. So what would you like to do, Tech Marine? Nah, tech Key Boy? I'll take aim. Alright, so, fully automatic? Yes. Yeah. Now I'll take aim. i roll a D100 to see if I hit, or do I roll... Oh, Steven just got online. Oh, great. Right. So I roll my D100, yes? Yeah, you roll your D100. Are you shooting it with? Your bolter? Yeah, with my, with my bolter. Yeah, check your ballistics. Alright. Roll for your ballistics. You definitely succeed. As a f yep, so that's a 5. With uh, your ballistics? It's... Hang on, let me get my... I believe it's 38, but I take aim, so I get a plus 10, don't I? Yeah. Um, so like, if, if you, if, wait, if you're doing a full auto, you can't. He's not doing full auto. I can't take auto. aim. Oh, you can't. Oh, yeah, if you're doing a full auto, you can't take aim. Oh, yeah. well, I won't do full auto then. Yeah, okay, so, uh, 38 with a 5, that's passed by three factors. Yeah, so you get... Because, um, uh, you, yeah. You get a three, you get three uh, every, additional shots. So yeah, he gets three additional shots, and because he only fired four, because that's the maximum fire rate of a bolter, all four shots hit. Uh, who are you directing the shots at? There's two do, remaining warriors I'm left. I'm gonna do half and half. Okay, Alright, so 2-2. Two, two. Um, yeah, two, okay, yeah. roll a uh, free d10 for me, please. I like, I like how Cannon's doing the, the, the fucking damage for me. <laughs> Is no, it, it's it's basically just like it gets to the point where you just want to do combat. Okay, so um, so nine um, so nine and a six is fifteen. Um, 15 so yeah, fifteen. Plus five, twenty. Plus five is twenty with five pen. Five pen. That's your so first shot. It blocks eight damage, so it you you score twelve wounds on to warrior one. He's down to six HP. Yep. Uh, second shot, please. 
Uh, free D10 again, please. You literally only need to do six loads and you win. Oh, double He's infantry. fucking dead. He's fucking dead. <laughs> he's dead. There's All no... right. There's yeah, a... he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. We're gonna roll. He dies the same way as the other one. You you turn him, Brandon, just glass him. So that's warrior one down. There's only one warrior left. You guys gonna kill him before you guys even take any damage. Yeah, that is space marines for you. All right, uh, I'll do the final one. Uh, do you want me to go all extended about what the hell I'm doing just so you guys can understand combat better, or do you want me just to mince it? Mince them. All right. Uh, okay. So I am going. So how many? Um, so is how many? Okay. So warrior number two is remainder, and if memory says correct, he has ten wounds. Combat action. So best course of action with something like that is just to down with bolt of fire. Because I'm a t uh, put here's a down with bolt of fire. He is within half range, I'm guessing. How oh, far yeah. away? Yeah, he's so he's yeah, he's definitely within half range of your bolt there. He's not that far away. Yep, so because he's within half range, I get a plus ten. I get a plus ten because of being a tactical marine, which gives me a total of uh, that's a so that's plus twenty there, and then you get a plus twenty for being full auto, so it gives a total of plus forty. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roll a, um, I'm going to roll a ballistic skill at a plus forty. I rolled a thirty-two, which is I need to double check what the fucking stats are just so I can figure out exactly how many. Okay, so I have ballistic skill of fifty-three with thirty-two. I pass by. Two. Six factor success, so all of my shots hit. Um, which is to the arm, the chest. Well, doing that. All right, which means one, two, three. First shot going into a target because um, because I am a tactical marine, I get plus two damage for each and every single shot. Oh yeah, that's right. I have plus ten ballistic skills, so I technically pass by seven factors, but whatever. Um. And because of my combat sight, my um, I get additional penetration equal to my perception bonus of five. Oof. So that means that my bolter is uh. You only have got... to you negate all of his armor and two of his toughness bonus. Uh, penetration doesn't count for toughness. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Yeah, so penetration just just ignores armor, basically up to the up to the value. Okay. All right, so two d ten plus five tearing. Roll three dice. Take the highest two, which gives me a nine and a seven for the first shot, which gives me sixteen plus seven actually because of my ability. Uh, so sixteen plus seven is twenty three ten pen. Ten pen. So sixteen plus seven is twenty three plus ten pen. He can only negate five, so he negates. Yeah, he takes eight. He negates. he negates three, or uh, he negates up to eight. Uh, he negates down to eighteen, but he only had ten wounds. You do eight critical, he dies. Eight critical, which is of course dead. Uh, I'll take a look at the flavor test just because I want to. Because Jesus Christ, these things are brutal. Eight is no, it's energy. Just FYI, none of you were in squad mode that entire time. That was all solo. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything, but just just for future combat, just remember, one of you has to call squad mode to enter squad mode. <laughs> squad, <laughs> assemble! <laughs> so yeah, they're all dead. Let's move on. <clears throat> Alright. So. First, we should spit on their corpses. With I'm not taking my with helmet your, off just to spit on a with corpse. Your, with your belcher's gland? Yeah, you gotta take off your helmet. Do you, want, you sure you wanna do that? Alright, what are you guys doing? You guys are gonna continue. So you guys got caught in the middle of your advance. If you wanna do anything to the bodies, you can. You can take trophies if you want. Oh, nice. Can I, can I, take, can I, take, can I take an entire corpse? You cannot take an entire if corpse. If you can... Uh, you can carry it around the entire time. Yes, you do have to yeah, carry it. Yeah, if you wanna carry it around. These? These are Tyranid warriors. Huh? With wings. Yeah, yeah. these are Tyranid warriors with wings, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm taking a, I'm taking a head, a head. An head? Okay. You can cut off the head. There's no, there's no, there's no test. You whip out your combat knife and you, you just cut off its head. Xenos, Whack! Xenos blood spills out of its Does that jugular. Blood? Huh? Oh wait, no. Does I mean, technically, since you exploded its chest, its head's, its head's just on the ground. Oh, okay. So there's one that's still intact. I would like to abduct said one that is intact. Abduct? Well, to be fair, its chest is blown out, but yeah, it's, it's just close a, enough. It's just as blown out. Wait, hold on. Are you, uh, wait, are you picking it up? Are you taking it? Yes. Okay, roll a strength test. Alright. R1... 1v100. I fail it. You fail. You can't pick it up. You cannot. It's you cannot make another. Well. You cannot make another roll. Yeah, it's heavy as shit. <clears throat> so you're gonna. You guys are gonna keep continuing towards the north. <clears throat> uh, wait a second. You do have to remember that your strength is times two, and oh, then you yeah. get a plus twenty on top of that. Oh yeah, I have eighty-eight. I forgot. So you have eighty-eight, and you get a plus twenty because of your armor. So I it's a hundred and whatever. Hundred and eight. <laughs> yep, so you pass by a factor. You can carry it. You can carry it. That's all it is. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Yes, I put it on my... Okay, hold on. He's gonna strap it down like it's a deer. <clears> how, much would, how, much would you, how much would you all rec uh, uh, recommend... Uh, reckon that the Tyranid, a Tyranid Warrior Corpse weighs? Uh, it has been emptied. Go... It has been emptied significantly, but it definitely weighs something. <laughs> it's been emptied. <laughs> well, yeah, it's kind of missing most of its chest, right? <laughs> it's been emptied. Oh god. So you pick it, it up. It, 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 it's, it, it's, it's your new cereal bowl. It's your new cereal <laughs> it's bowl. Just yeah, a warrior. You... Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna see how much my uh, heavy bolter weighs. You have your bolt of ways, and I shall tell you it because I have the armory open right now. Boop. I just paid the armory. I would, I would say it's about carrying a, an extra heavy bolter. That's what I was. A saying. heavy bolter is tw is uh, sixty eight. Twenty six. It, no, no, right. it, yeah, sixty eight pounds. Yes, sixty eight yeah. pounds. All right, you move. And uh, you move out. I need, I need to remember the encumbrance. I need to remember encumbrance stuff. It's, uh, for, ev for every, like, percentage of your, of your actual, like, for every percentage of your strength or whatever, it's, it reduces your movement speed. Wait a second. It doesn't add extra armor, by the way. I'm not... No, no, um, don't, don't, yeah. don't worry about me. I'm just gonna keep looking up stuff. Okay. Uh, so, I, um, so, unless there's any other things that you guys want to do in the meantime, I'm gonna start walking towards... The north. The, uh, control tower thing. Okay. Question: How do how does how do Tyranids work with uh, detecting friend foe? They do not work like that. If that's synapse. Right. Yeah, they have a synapse. They're a hive mind. They do not. They do not smell. <laughs> if we if we kill the hive mind, then they can go back to feral and maybe kill each other. But that's the there's, most. We can. Yeah, there's no hive. Yeah, that's only if you kill a, a hive uh, tyrant. Okay. Um. Twenty. Or the synapses or whatever. Some uh, strength bonus and toughness bonus. Yeah, uh, so eight plus. Um. Hey, Firecat, can you tell me what your uh toughness bonus is? Remember, it is times two. Um, my toughness bonus is four. Okay, so that's times two. Sixteen. You have a maximum carry weight of six hundred and seventy-five kilograms. <laughs> so carrying that is like nothing. Could you yes. put that into pounds? Uh, it's called. Look it up. I can't be bothered. It's like 1,200 pounds. Yeah. We are literally a tank. <laughs> also, if you really want to bring something with you, you can push up to 2,700 kilograms of stuff. Ooh. All right, so it so doesn't, it really doesn't wanted... slow you down at all. You can hold, except you now do not have the use of your second arm because you have to hold it on your shoulder. Because so we aren't on. strapping that down. Yeah, you Are don't... you telling me? You're oh. telling me that I could push a bulkhead door back to our base? 
A bulkhead door weighs more than the fucking oh, Tyranid no. warrior. <laughs> you guys have to a extract. Bulkhead. Remember this. You guys are wasting precious time. Yeah, we you should come back. Up, for the it over one shoulder, and now we're walking. <laughs> All right, you're walking. We come back to the door. So, so somebody picks up a head. I pick up the rest of. A, I pick up an entire corpse and put it on my shoulder. And when then we start walking. Three, yeah. Six. Nice. <laughs> Jesus Alright. the birds a lot right here. Alright, guys. Alright, I gotta mute my vibe for a second. Okay. You guys have spent one hour of your five hour total so far. <clears throat> Alright, now these birds yeah. are made for walking. Let's head to the main control center. As you approach. Oh, you've been going north. You're, you're going north straight. You're going to six, by the way. That's where you were going. I said north, not northwest. You guys need to indicate where you're going to be walking. We wanted to go to nine because it was yeah, like okay. Yeah, we're heading okay. We're heading north and then we're going to head west where we can see the building. We were just trying to see if we could find anything else heading north. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I thought we agreed on. All right. As you approach a broad ravine dipping into the earth, you hear the distinct sharp crack of last fire and the dull roar <coughs> of hastily bellowed orders. Advancing stealthily up a nearby escarpment. You, to get a clearer view of the tactical situation, you look downwards into the ravine to see the overturned wreck of an eight-wheeled cargo hauler below, taking up a defensive position with the crashed vehicle on one flank or a ragged squad of 16 Imperial Guardsmen hunkered down, <coughs> hunkered down in firing positions in the rocks. The bodies of more guardsmen are scattered around the area, and among them are the mangled and burned remains of a dozen Tyranid Shrikes. Huge back jump down. Huge bat-winged nightmares with a blood-drenched scythe-like claws. Stood stark and straight amidst the soldiers is the unmistakable figure of a young Imperial Commissar. His long black coat and tatter uh, is tattered and blood-stained. Displaying no fear or concern for his own safety, he is shouting admonishments to his men to stand and die for the Emperor's glory. Beyond them, on the far side of the ravine, movement ripples through the rocks as the Tyranids muster for another attack. Yeah, we got that under. We have to save the guardsmen. Yes, I right, do believe. I, I'm going. I, I vote we charge down there, corpse and head in hand. Yeah. To assist them. <laughs> we I do believe the guard. Guard. We yell, yes, uh, yell for the emperor. We come and reinforce the guardsmen. I'm going to scream, Mortis Portis, brothers. <laughs> Just, pull, just be warned. Right. This action can consume valuable time in your in your objective. Does, yeah, they might know. The thing is, they might have. We must save people. them. They they will probably know many things. Let's move. Yeah, they probably actually might know where he might have gone. You guys are gonna fight know. your first. You guys, by the way, you guys are gonna fight your first horde. That's oh, fine. We yes. Yes. Horde at all costs. I like horde rules. It's basically just there's a big crowd of them over there. Do enough damage and they'll die. The guardsman firing line is about to be attacked by a horde of 23 Hormagons and two Tyranid warriors, a mere probing claw of the swore to come. If this combat occurs, which it is because you're intervening, you should focus on the player character's role. Okay, it's just telling you shit. Um, okay, can I open up by throwing a frag grenade right in the middle? Can I uh, open up by tossing a corpse at them? Wait. Grenade <laughs> 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 in a fucking corpse. Well, <laughs> I mean... What else in am my I trip, supposed to do with it? It might trip one of them up. I it might know. trip one of the one more of them up. I I'm, I'm get hit by a dead body. I'm watching a 63 kilogram corpse at them. <laughs> it's gonna kill at least one. Oh, you need it. I got, I got dinner, unfortunately. Um, that's why I wanted to do this at six originally, but um, so we're stopping for. Uh, we're not gonna stop right this minute. Um, if if you well, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to hand over the GM to somebody really quickly. Uh, oh, rip me. Yeah, rip you, Cannon. You get to be the, you get to be standing GM. Um, the encounter is, you know how the encounter. It's twenty, it's twenty three Homer Gaunts and uh, two Tyranid warriors. Um, and I'll, uh, and since you've been pretty much running the combat, I'll let you run the combat. Um, all right. Uh, which chapter is it in? It's uh, it's in the core rule book. It's in, it's on page. Let me just pull it up here. It is on page three eighty eight. 
Um, and the Turinid Warriors and the Hormagons stats can be found on 371 and 370, respectively. So, 388, mm -hmm. this is the... This is the mission. Yep, okay. Don't read too far. Yep, ahead. and 371 and 370. Okay, sweet. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to remember horde rules. <laughs> uh, you can look those up too, they're in the rule book. Somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that would be on the combat. Combat. Let's take a turn. Initiative, surprise. Okay. Alright, so, first things first. So, first things first. Because you are hitting the... Uh, because you are hitting the wave before it has hit the firing line, I'm going to give you a bonus. Uh, I'm going to give you one round of free actions where you can unleash onto the horde before it does anything because you have taken it by surprise by flanking it. Obviously, does that make sense? The, that's Focus, going to the Tyrannid Warriors. One at a time, please. Okay. Now, first things first. I would like you all to roll 1d10 and then add your agility bonus. Eight. Make sure to add your agility bonus to it. I got eight. I don't know what my agility bonus is. It's the tenth number of your agility. Tenth number of my agility. Oh, so yeah. four. I got yes. Eight. I have a three agility bonus. I'm the slowest boy with the biggest guns. Okay. Okay then. So that means uh our other tech marines gonna go first. I need to seriously what the fuck is hordes? Cause I am not going to take keep track of these each one every single usually. Da, da, da. These are still technically on the way of target, so yeah. Now then, I would uh what would you like to do as your first action on the target? Okay. You talking to Thaddeus? You're talking to refrigerator. Refrigerator, because he's the one who uh, rolled the highest initiative. Okay. I want to burst fire two times at a tyrannid warrior. Uh, full auto act and full auto burst is a full action, so you can. No, uh, burst fire. Uh, uh, semi auto is also yeah. a full action. Also. So if... Yes, I actually double checked it <laughs> because I was confused about yeah. it. No, yeah, I'll, it is here. Semi auto. Full auto, full auto then. All right, so full auto burst. That means you get a plus 20 from that action. Um, I'm not entirely really sure how far you are, so I'm just going to assume that you are not within half range. However, because you are a tactical marine, you get a plus 10. Plus 10. Is there any 10. other bonuses that you, that you, you might said, have? Because you're you said they were unaware. We took them by surprise. They are unaware. Um, so that means that they that you that's get a off round where you can just do stuff yeah, before okay, they react to you. Bonus. Okay. Yeah, no bonuses. All right, I, so that is a 13. Okay, what is your ballistic skill? Uh, what is your ballistic uh, skill, please? Uh, 52 plus 30, 82. Okay, so 82. Yep, you definitely hit all four times. Seriously, what the fuck is horrors? I need to learn. All right, I would like for you to um, do some damage rolls. Um, if you need reminders, I am still here. Okay. This is the first, the first shot. Uh, just, no, um, as in, just um, roll them all together, and then tell me what the total is for your damage. Remember, it is the two highest plus your damage. Okay. Uh, 20 plus 20, 40. Plus, oh, that's a critical. Plus uh, 25, 65 damage. Uh, 85 damage. Total. Oh, here we go. Uh, 359 is hordes. 359 sword. Thank you very much. Yeah. Just looking through the table of contents there. 
I forgot how horde damage work because that's a thing. Oh, <coughs> damaging a horde. Each 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 hit that causes any damage reduces horde magnitude by one. Therefore, attack that after counter and cause of thing. Yeah. So magnitude thirty is a mob. Magnitude sixty, magnitude ninety, magnitude one twenty plus, and they give uh, extra bonuses to hit as well. Oh Jesus Christ! Look that. All right then. So uh, you definitely hit that. I need to double check. Weapons that de that inflict explosive damage gain and web bonus against hordes and count as inflicted one additional hit. Okay, um, so you technically did five. Could you roll another pair of d10s, please? That, and roll as if you had another shot. Locations are not used. A horde has a single armored value of, as, that is applied to all damage rather than different armor values. Yep. Hordes may be pinned as normal. However, yeah, don't worry about it. I, uh, yeah, don't worry about it, my friends. Yeah. I'm um so just roll as standard. So roll um so uh just tell me if Okay. So Oh, he, here's what here's what helps you as well. Therefore, an attack that, after counting for armor and toughness bonuses, causes 15 points of damage, reduces the horde magnitude by 1. They're using an example of something else, don't worry. Yeah. I return. How's it going? We're still I'm on double checking shot. horde rules. Oh, okay. Yep. Because I've given the because... guys a hug. I should have played Salamanders. Alright, excuse, excuse me just a second. Alright, what is the total damage that your shots did? The total is 85 damage. 85 damage? Okay. Uh, where the f is it? Here we are. Here we go. Hermagons and Tyranid Warriors. How many Hermagons were there again? 23. 23, so I'm just going to give the 23. They have a... Where is that? They have a simple magnitude. Armor of free with a toughness of free, so they have 6 damage, so... 85 divided by 3. No, 85 divided by 6. For 85 total for that, that amount of damage? Okay. 85 divided by 6. 15. Just divided by 2. That's 2 units. Alright. I have done standard fighting against individual opponents. I... Yeah, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can find it really quick. No, I'm trying to figure out how much how much uh, 85 damage to a horde reduces it. Each each. Oh, that's right. They have. Each... Oh. All right. So uh, they block six damage from that 85. So 85 take six is 79. How many wounds each individual one of these fuckers have? That is the question I should have been asking. Here we are. Each and every single one of them have nine wounds. Let's divide that by nine, which means that you have killed eight Hormagons. Congratulations. Nice. With four shots. With four shots. That's, that's that your sniper your training. That is, that is your barrage ability on a fuck ton of Hormagons. Congratulations, there's still 15 Hormagons left. How many warriors are there? Two warriors. Yeah, so there's 15 normal guns left and two warriors. So they're charging at you guys across How the many? field. Okay, hold on. What is um, actually, they were actually oh. because um, they were flanking them. I just said I decided to give them a surprise round, which means they all oh. get to fire first. Oh, okay, fine. And then they get charged. And then hey, by the way, we by the way, the horde needs to make a willpower test at the end of our end of our turn in order to see if it if it doesn't break. We will yeah. see that, um, I'm gonna say no because Tyranids. Okay, move on. Yeah. Tyranids don't tend to break. Yeah, so yes, it's... now then. It is, now the next person, I'm gonna breaking. skip my own turn just to give you all taste of combat. Okay, uh, so... I rolled the same value, but I rolled first. 
Go okay, um, re um, so I want you to roll off against each other, so roll each roll away. I don't want you, to. Firecat, go. Okay, I'll go first. Um, Alright, let me go, Firecat. You were going to throw the corpse instead of opening fire with your gun? Yes. He can't open Are fire with his gun, he's holding the corpse. He only has yes, one Yes, I hand. have to throw the corpse in order to fire my gun. You can God drop the corpse, it, a dropping think. stuff is indeed a free action. You can uh, simply let it to... slump from your shoulder as you grab your gun and then fire. No, because if you do not do that, you are unable to do a full auto burst, and hence are, are unable to shoot your gun. I want to throw the corpse. Firecat, don't. We need the shots. Yes. Shots are useful. You can throw the corpse at whatever's left. 25, right, so... you got a ballistics of 54? You got ballistics of 54, this is a small... 52. Wood. Yeah, it's a small horde. Every horde gives you a bonus to hit. Um, which is a plus 10? Something yeah. like that. So plus 10. Plus 10. Uh, if that's a full auto... So yeah, you get a plus 10 from the horde itself, and then you're doing a full auto burst, so you get a plus 20. I would like you to roll at D100, please. I rolled 25. You rolled 25. You rolled a 25? Alright. My ballistic uh, skill is 52. <laughs> If this is score 52, so you pass by two factors, because that is how many you get up to. Yep, um, because that's how many under your uh, ballistic skill you got by 10, and you get an additional plus 30. Um, so that means you had five, pass by five factors, which means six shots impacted the horde. Roll as if seven, um, I would like for you to roll as if you hit the horde seven times, and then give me the total amount of damage. Oh, hold on, I should redo that first one, you add the plus 10. <laughs> <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Reminder: I'm... you will you I'm... will have to individually select out the numbers because it is tearing. You can only use two out of those three dice. Yeah, I know. And I rolled three tens. Congratulations! Roll three additional dice. This is the power of something. This is the okay. power of a devastator. They just keep. Throwing out shots. They also do one. Right. They also do one more damage to the horde's magnitude. Uh, it well, counts I'm as additional hit. Is why I just simply told them just add eight one. plus. Oh, okay. Eight. No, that's not one. Okay, so first so just roll, uh, ten plus nine, and because it's a ten, I get to select the first value, which is a six plus six. So ten plus nine plus six. So. 10 plus 9 plus 6. No, uh, only plus add one. two values and then add an additional 15 for all the criticals afterwards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's why I asked you to roll the Ten extra ones. 10 plus 9 plus 9 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. 3, 5, 9. Hold on, I, I'm highlighting where I am. Plus 4 plus 3 plus 10 plus 6. Plus ten, plus seven, plus fifteen. Total of hundred and four. Hundred and four. One zero four. Divide that by the total amount of. We will remove. Uh, we will remove the armor that they have, which is six, which is pitiful. That's ninety-eight. We'll just divide that by the amount of how much, uh, the wounds. You are able to remove ten more, which um, ten more as well as a remainder that was left that was left injured. Which hence leaves a five Hormagons and two warriors. <laughs> this, my friends, is why heavy bolters are used because they are really effective against. Us. This leaves two other people left, one of which is currently helping run combat. So that leaves Richard. You have an attack action. You can either a do as your friends have done and keep using a bolter, or b use a grenade and force me to re and force me to read rules to figure out what the fuck that does. <laughs> I want to throw a crack grenade. No, those are AP. Throw a frag, throw a frag. Throw crack frag. grenades Frag's are AP. For yep, tank. there we go. So, frag grenades. I need to, once oh. again, go to the horde rules. 359. And read you what blast weapon. Like if you want a blast to weapon that hits a horde um, hits a number of times equal to its blast value. Okay, so grenade has what value for blast? Let's find out. Quite a bit. Alright, let's I find, find out. out. I'm gonna go stick with the grenade. I thought start a grenade so, should be bigger. Yes. Plasma, so a grenade explosive. with a blast of four will automatically hit four times if successfully lobbed into the horde. 
Yes. Which it will be because there's so many bonuses to fighting a horde. Yes, I'm, we're not going to do that. Um, so it has a blast of five. Um, so I want you to roll two d ten five times and tell me the accumulative damage. I so am honest yeah, with you, throw... I could be more nuanced in how I actually do these damages, but I can't be bothered off the top of my head. Fuck that. I could just shoot my bolter if you'd prefer that. But... Um, okay, just... so roll... I need five 2d10s? Yes. yes. Um, and then add all the values together. Grenades <clears> are surprisingly <throat> weak against stuff that isn't hordes. Oh, should I shoot my bolter then? That just be no, no, no. You're, 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 you're throwing grenades into a horde, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. I'll add all the values. Six. So I'm rolling five. Yeah, five times. So just roll ten. Uh, so just roll um, ten d tens, basically. Yeah, that would have been that would have saved time. Five, eleven, six, fourteen, thirteen. 11, 17, 30, 44. 44, and I'll ignore fucking armor, because apparently that's pretty weak sauce. Divide by 9. Okay, that's all the Hormagons law gone, leaving only the Warriors, which are the bigger boys. Which, which just, means which that are just all we have the strikes. To... Yeah, they're just the strikes that you fought previously. Yep, so we just got two strikes left, which leaves, um,. Us and the firing line. So I shall take my shots now, and then I shall hand back over to you to let the firing line deal with the last one. Okay. <clears throat> so I have. So first things first, I shall quickly look over something. This is great. All right, then I also take a half turn aim, and then I shall use, and then I shall use a single shot, uh, a cold shot, to the head of one of the warriors. Okay, you suffer a negative so, ten, by the way, because called uh, aim only gives you a plus ten, and a called shot takes away twenty. I'm never entirely sure, man. Okay, so yeah, that's a negative ten from that, but I get a plus ten ballistic skill because I am a tactical, um, which means that it is a flat zero. Um, zero, which is flat zero um, until we look at my combat site, which also gives me a plus ten ballistic skill for a single shot. Which means I am firing at a plus ten. Yeah. And that is a sixteen, which means I hit. It means I hit, um, <laughs> which is two d, which is two d ten tearing, ten of ten because of additional penetration, uh, plus seven. I got an emperor bliss and a two, so let's re-roll that. The other one. It's not that much. That's just a free, so that is 13, 15, 22 pen 10. Now, if I am going to tell you a little bit of a secret, I'm probably going to be messing something up because these guys have bonuses to not getting damaged to places, but I don't care right now. They only have 8 uh, AP all around. Where's the warrior stats? It's eight Seven. AP all around, and then five eight uh, toughness bonus. No, I, I need I need to double check something. Very simple reason. So he has forty eight wounds. Okay. So no. first things first, he has an armor rating of eight all round because I have ten pen. That means I don't have to give a shit. So now, now you want to say something fun? Head, um, headshots counts for damage and a half after you get through armor. Oh boy. So I got 25. What is half of 25, my friend? It's it is a lot. 13 or 12. You get any dirty dishes? Okay, sorry. No, I don't. 13. 12. 13. 15. That's 22. 22. Which means I get 33 damage to the head. 33. Take toughness, which is um, which is actually times two, by the way. So he has a damage circuit of ten toughs. Oh, he does. Oh, which bro. means, 
which means he has taken 23 wounds to the head, which leaves him with 25, which leaves one warrior with 25 wounds, 25 rooms and a big hole in his head, and the other warrior still completely fine, which leaves just the guardsmen. The guardsmen have their own horde and do their own horde damage because of it. And I'm going to force you to read those rules now. Okay, that's easy. Fuck you. That's easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <clears throat> Let me just find them really quick. That is not it. Mm. Uh, it's 376. <clears throat> Those found in the air should be considered and portrayed as particularly exhausting despite many other ones. They are all doing in the most picture of discipline. Okay. 376. They all roll as one and they get one shot, but they add all the. Damage modifiers to it, pretty much. <clears throat> That's not where they are. On the next page. Imperial, oh, their stats are on uh, this page. Okay. Imperial Guardsmen have a ballistic skill of 30. And their last guns shoot once, and they do 1d10 plus 3. With no pen. Well, that should have semi auto as well, if you really want well, to. Well, yeah, no, they shoot once and three times. They th do one shot or three bursts, but they're a horde, so they only get the one shot. Alright. They rapid fire, too. <clears throat> That's on the end tabletop. Mm -hmm. The rapid fire weapons, they should be. Real the shooter, three last gun reload, low sticks, the infinite treatment, uplifting primer. Okay, so the horde of guardsmen opens fire on. The wounded warrior. Uh, I don't know why I closed the book. Fuck. Okay. On the wounded warrior. Don't have any pen. Help. Fuck, now I have to go find the horde rules. Uh, fuck. Uh, horde rules are on 359. 359? Okay, thank you. What's oh, attacking? Melee range. The horde may make a range layer equal to its first digit of its magnitude. Thus, a what magnitude are the guardsmen? Magnitude or they're small. Uh, yeah. so that's ten. Fifteen. Ten. How how uh how much is the magnitude? Ten fifteen. The magnitude. So the mag sizes of magnitudes are th oh the, they're sixteen. There's sixteen of them, but the magnitude. Right. So they yeah. so, so they can only make one ranged attack. Mm hmm. Modifiers or, or range and sustain five flies. No, I just been jamming and never applied to uh, any attack from a horde that hits has the damage increased by number d10s equal to the horde's magnitude divided by 10. Maximum bonus of 2d10s. Okay, so they just do damage. Yeah, okay, so roll um, roll to hit for the guardsman. They're closing in, so let's give them a bonus of yeah. plus 10 yeah, being so within hit. half range. So they hit. Now, uh, roll 2d10 uh, for their damage. Uh, no, so... Uh, roll damage of a Lao's gun plus a d10 because of. Oh. Roll damage of a Lao's gun, one, one d10 plus, plus three. That's 12. And then plus a, uh, plus a d10 to it, please. Eight, so they do. And that's 20, horde. 20. So they do 20 damage to the wounded warrior. He has he armor has... still and toughness, so he blocks 18. So he takes two wounds. <laughs> you know, after we literally killed everything but that one warrior, um... There's two warriors, one's wounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so after we killed literally all the Hormagons, I mean... Alright, they, makes... they get to attack. Both, uh, both of them. But right. seeing, seeing you as the bigger threat, they both sort of veer off and, and engage both of you. And they enter into the charge. <clears throat> So they... Charge gives twenty plus thirty for charging. Find out. 
I was hoping a plus 10 to weapon skill. <laughs> you get a this plus, one was more. They get a plus 10. And there is... And their weapon skill is already 55, so they hit 65. So... <clears throat> Does anybody want to take a reaction? They're, they're going to attack whoever fails their reaction, by the way. No, uh, roll, um, uh, declare targets, roll to hit first, oh, and okay, then reactions yeah, yeah. on the guys get hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, okay, so, Warrior 1, who fucked him up the most? Was it uh, Warrior? that, that would be I me. I fucked up the horde the most. Oh, okay, so, yeah, yeah so the uh, Warrior number, number 1, he's gonna reel at you with his, his skull, with his, with the, with the, with the big-ass hole in it, he's gonna turn around, rear at you, and he's gonna charge you. He's gonna roll to hit you. He's got his claws out. One, D one hundred. Oh, that didn't. Okay. Can I do roll one D one hundred? There we go. And he hits with six degrees of success. Six degrees of success. So you can either do a dodge or parry. Um, if you can succeed by more than so six attack, factors. He's attacking you. He's attacking you. <laughs> He's attacking, oh, he's attacking me. me. Yeah, he's attacking you. <laughs> All right, I have five fate points, so I shall use one of those fate points to re, to re roll. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, one of the uses of fate points is you can make enemies re roll if you use a fate point. Okay. So re roll, please. Is that? He's got three degrees That's... of success. Three degrees of success. I can dodge three degrees of success. I have agility of fifty eight, and I have dodge. I shall attempt to dodge him myself. And I'm probably still gonna get fucking jacked in the face. No, I'm not actually. I'm gonna roll a one, which is a critical success, and be completely fine. Okay. <laughs> get fucked, here it <clears throat> So you like he comes to swipe at you, and he goes overhead, and you dodge under and to the side or whatever. Because you're not wearing yes. your armor, you actually duck no, down. No, 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 wrong, wrong person, wrong, oh, person. wrong person. Yeah, wrong person. <laughs> you somehow. It's a refrigerator. That doesn't wear. <laughs> I, I I keep forgetting. Yeah. I'm I'm so, the straight man here. I'm the guy who's actually trying to. So help if anybody him. wants to know, it is Scroglius who do, who, despite being a Space Marine sipping a juice box on the stream, he is not wearing Space Marine power armor. He is wearing Scout Marine power armor. It's not power armor. Scooping. Oh, it's Scout it's Marine armor. armor. Well, it's it's like it's like half and half. Well, it's I got Scout armor, Marine armor, armor, and then I got the, like the. Pain all right, like, so, all right, that's enough of that. Um, so now then, we have the second warrior who's going to charge. Who's he going to charge? He is going to charge. Th uh, not Thaddeus. Uh, he's going to charge Elias, having witnessed his whole horde be brought low by one enemy. He's going to charge him. All right. He, that, he... Uh, that is a weapon oh. skill. Yeah, Left, weapon please. skill. Ten. Roll one d one hundred. Sixty-seven. He does not make it he misses so oh, yes he I, is I, I still want to use my reaction can yeah. i react to stab him pardon no you can, can oh yeah you can you, you can react to parry you can react to parry because he did try to melee you sure. yes you can indeed react to, to parry him because he did try to melee you sure i it might is. as well i got a 42 ballistic uh, melee kill. it's not ballistics it's weapon yeah i say i said melee i got um, 42. However, I all that parry does is ensure get hit. So yeah. it doesn't do anything. Yeah. I failed. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I failed anyways. You try to bat his hand, so, yes. you both miss each other. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, you're fully expecting him to hit, so, you, so you're like, you like swing and drop Well, like, he, your bar head he barely misses, the... so, like, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like, it's just a, a I expected cavalcade to be stabbed, so I stabbed forward, and it missed me, so it went tumbling, and I just kind of stumbled forward, like, oh, shit. Alright then, so, now then, we have two people within melee, um, and that is that. Yeah, so if you... So do you guys... <laughs> you have fire cat so you guys melee, wanna know... and cannon fodder within melee. Can we... You, can you, we you guys want to learn something... Um, yes, you can shoot in melee, but you want to know something fun. Yes. Every out. shot that you no 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 every shot that you've missed while firing into melee, you just then try you just then roll see if you hit your ally. Which means hey, that now I've got a question. While I'm in melee, can I fire? Yes, you all have to do it at a negative. It's okay. like a negative thirty. It's something ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so like um so so let me tell you about firing into melee. 
So Some you of you miss... may die, but, it, but it's a risk I'm ready to take. <laughs> Basically. Um, because you want to know what it does? You roll to hit, and all the shots that then miss, um, you must then roll to hit your ally. So for every <laughs> single shot, hey, how yeah. you, don't shoot you must me, roll a ballistic stand. skill to see if you hit your ally. I need to do something. Uh, I'm going to shoot what my this, ally. Uh, what this, uh, ah, fuck. At what distance I am from Sidonus? You're you're all with you, since I would assume you all engage as a squad. You're within you're within squad distance. You're 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 within like uh, ten to fifteen so, meters of each other. If the word you're, yeah, you're uh, the word that charges him, I'm like at uh, short range, no shorter than short range. How that's called? Yeah, uh, um, you would be within half range, correct? Ha um, it is within half range, which gives you a plus ten. However, you are firing into melee. Just be in mind, you may hit your ally. Yes, but it's uh, like uh, inside, uh, I think it's five meters from me, I get a plus 30 to hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Point blank. <clears throat> that is indeed correct. Point blank, point blank exactly. is indeed a thing. As long as you're not waiting to really. Which one are you shooting at? The one who's wounded or the one who's not wounded? The wounded ones, in the, the not wounded ones engaging new fire cat. And the wounded I know, ones that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Who are you gonna shoot? Are you gonna shoot me? I'm gonna shoot the wounded. I'm gonna shoot the wounded. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you get a plus, um, plus thirty for point blank, basically, because it's been five meters. Don't miss. Don't um, miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you get a you get a plus twenty because it's full auto. You get a plus. Uh, I'm guessing you're full auto because yeah, entirely I'm... the type of point that you would. Um, if my math is correct, and... I should have one hundred and ten percent to hit. Okay. Then you don't miss. Uh, Okay, yep. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, so you get a plus 20 because of that. Plus, uh, so you get a plus 30 for point blank, plus 20 for full auto burst, plus 10 because fucking tactical marines, apparently. So, roll a d100, please. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he did not roll a critical fail, so the gun does not jam in his hand. Good to see. Anyway, yeah. I just realized we don't have we don't he took the weapon uh the oath of weapons so we don't have to care about that. But anyway, uh resolve I hate, I hate, I hate attacks so against the warrior, please. So uh roll four attacks. One, two. Oh, this is a critical. Yep. So roll additional D ten for that one and add the results. Yep. Three, so three. Another critical and another D ten. Okay then. And so the first hit yeah. is um, twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. That is uh, twenty six pen five. Twenty six pen exactly. five. Twenty six so... pen five. Yep. That means the pop the calculator. Three damage is reduced. No, wait, wait, wait. The first hit is a twenty two plus uh, pen five. The second 22 pen 5, which is then it's a total of 3, 19. So that's 9 wounds, which leaves him with a total of... The second hit is... Of, uh, you do 9 wounds, 16. yeah. You do 9 wounds. 29. 16. The second hit is a 29. Yeah, 29. 3, 6, 16. Which means it is... 16. 14. That is enough. Yeah, 16 is 0. Okay, so it's now on 0, which the is third unconscious. Hit, is uh, 32. Oh, he's dead. Yep, it is. Yeah, dead. It is mystified. Yeah. It is mystified. It is boom, boom, boom. now red a fucking mist. Mist and giblets. It is dead. And I'm very happy you did not hit me. Thank you very much. Now then. We now have one man in play combat mm -hmm. with another creature. How about I go next so that way I can see if I can stab it in the face? All right, then. Before, Let's before, see. Before you... you shoot me, I want to at least try to stab it. All right. Uh, so you are in melee. You have a few options, but you are going to try and melee attack it, correct? What are my options first before I decide stabbing is the best Okay, option? so you have a few options. You can either go all that attack, which gives you a plus 20 to hit, but then you can't dodge or parry, which means that you need to just fucking take whatever the hell it hits you in the face with. You can do a cold shot, which is that you attack a specific point, but that's at an egg 20. You can um, do a defensive stance, which gives you a, 
uh, which means that you get two reactions and the enemies suffer a negative to hit you. But say you want to hit someone else, you're not you're not going to do that. Uh, you can disengage, which means you can break off from melee and move so that everyone fucking empty into it. I'm you gonna can... disengage. Okay then, there we go. So disengage. That can... So that way everybody else can empty into it. Yep, so disengage, which leaves everyone else with a I'm assuming that's a full action. Tyranid that is a full action, yes. Which leaves everyone out which leaves two other space marines um two other space marines with bolters pointed towards a warrior with within point blank range. Uh, fuck it, it's dead now. I'll be bothered trying to figure that out. <laughs> because, lo and behold, it's probably gonna happen. You all just light it up. I'll just narrative kill it. You all light it up with your next turn. With your, with your, like, well, how many are there? There's, so fire cap, so. I disengage. So Idolo killed, killed the first one, the wounded one. Fire cap disengaged. <clears throat> cannon. Which leads. And cannon, you've just gotten saved from melee, so you have, you can do whatever. Yeah, so I can fire, and then... And the floor can also fire. And it, it has yes. 48 wounds, and you also are pretty much within point-blank range of it. You guys are pretty much all within point... It's fucking dead. Yeah. The warrior stumbles past Firecat as it tried to swipe at him, and he, he dodged out of its way, though trying to parry it himself and deliver his own attack, he failed at that. But he takes his time now with his new stance to back away from the enemy... The the hive warrior seems almost confused for a second before it is ripped to ripped to pieces by uh, simultaneous bolter fire from his two, from the from the death watch's remaining ally. And you guys have effectively ended this encounter in a single turn. Congratulations! And you see now the that none of the guardsmen have died. So I would like to pick up the corpse of this creature that I dropped at the okay. beginning of combat. Roll another strength test. You have to use a strength test every single time. Yeah. And you gotta pick up two of them. Cool. I'm picking up the one. I'm okay, gonna walk over walk, to the. I I'm gonna rock to over the to the warrior that tried to hurt me, and I'm gonna bash it with the corpse. Okay. I, I want to walk up to the guardsman and talk to them. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the. Yeah, that's a good idea. The guardsman. Okay. At, no, as I pick up the corpse and go walk over, drag it over to the to the warrior, and proceed to bash the shit out of the corpse. While well, Firecat's doing that, just let Firecat do that in the background. I don't give a shit about him meleeing that. I want to go talk <clears> to the guard. As you approach the guardsman's, uh, the guardsman's firing line, they seem relieved at your presence. They seem to revere you with their tired, broken eyes. They are exhausted from weeks, perhaps, of combat as they, as they now check their weapons and ensure they have enough ammo to, to continue on to their objective. The young so, commissar, uh, uh, Sander, approaches you, and extend and uh, and currently thanks you for your for your help. He says does. He, he goes Bow. he goes thank you he bows he bows at you and says thank you for for the rescue my lords I am commissar Sander, in charge of this small detachment of uh, <laughs> imperial guardsmen. Um, we are en route to the northern poles to set up a final resi to to assist with the final resistance against the Tyranid threat. Do you have any? Do, do you perhaps have any news of the the status of this, uh, of the planet at large? I respond to him. It's pretty grim. <clears throat> he says, "Is there any? Is there anywhere he should go for to regroup and counterattack against the enemy?" We're, so, we're so currently. Like this that I'd like to meander over. I'll, I'll walk over. Uh, we are currently in, we're currently in search of the of Magos, whatever. I don't think we ever got a name um, that I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, do you know where he is? Um, it is currently our mission to retrieve him. Then from there we will determine what um, counter assaults and the like. He shakes his head solemnly. He says, "No, unfortunately, I have not seen any Mechanicum ad uh, Magos is around." Me and my men have just arrived in our transport here. As you can see, he points to the downed ca uh, cargo hauler. Has met with a grim fate. It seems we are out of options. What was your like mission? Yeah, what? What was what is the mission? Is what I'm asking. His status. He is to regroup. He his his mission is to regroup with the with the troops in the northern poles of Tantalus and uh, assist with the final holdout against the Tyranid threat. He doesn't seem to know that the planet is perhaps already lost. 
Godsman, the what window. were you transporting? Uh, huh? I was asking the Godsman what he was transporting in the transport. Nothing, he was just transporting the Guardsman. I'm gonna walk over and say, Commissar, there is a downed radio beacon nearby this location. Head over there and reinforce it. It is our extraction location. Mm. Are is you it? sure? It's, it's the best are case scenario. Sure? It's... Are you for sure, Farrakhead? I was hoping it's... to have the gods and follow us. It's it's the radio tower and having the, somebody there to ensure that it does not fall and we don't have to fight our way out the of here. Down, is the down radio, radio beacon is not the radio tower. The down the down bunker is what I'm trying to refer to. The oh, down. okay. Yeah. The you radio... want to send them to the hole? <laughs> yes, I want them to defend the hole. The, bu the, the bunker is not the radio tower. The radio tower is on a hill next to the bunker. Are you sure you want to send them to the hole? That's right. No. Our cat's the captain, so he gets fired. Oh, never mind. Okay. We don't. We don't send them to the hole. No, we don't send them to Power, the hole. Apparently. Or Actually, you... let's have them follow us. I think that'd be the best case scenario. He denies your request to follow him, stating it is his mission to return to the northern pole and defend. Mm. Again, he doesn't seem to know that the planet is lost. Yeah. I'm going to go straight up tell him. Let, the planet hold on, is hold on. Lost. Okay, Stop. we have other people around Firecat. Let other people okay. speak. Okay, I like to inspect the godsmen's uniforms and try to you know, decide what regiment they're from. Okay, well. Can I distinguish what regiment they're from? They're just from Acadian regiment. Well, you're using Acadian patent gear. Yeah, they're is, all uh, using universal. Acadian patent gear. Italo, go, because everybody keeps interrupting the only Italian in here, and it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, you big racist. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't mean, know. Exactly. Ah, fuck. Exactly. Uh, the planet is lost. <clears throat> oh, you, Wait, you, you're What telling... do you know about it? Oh, so you know that the Tyranid, that it's a hive fleet coming. Like, this planet is lost. They've pretty much, you, you've been informed that pretty much everything has been falling. Like, there's, there's, like, you're, you're the only forces here, except for, like, orbital stations that are still operational, and a small defense fleet. Nothing else is keeping the Tyranids at bay, and it doesn't seem like any help is coming. But he doesn't know that. Okay, so, what I want to do is, uh, wait until they, uh, the rest of the group has stopped uh, talk with, the, with them. And then I'll take uh, a couple seconds to speak with, uh, the, with the guards when the others have, uh, like, got a fair bit away. Okay. Uh, uh, I just want to distinguish what guys in the regiment they are, and then Which... I'm going to let the Italian do what he... Yeah, that's just Italian. Uh, uh, it's just Italian. Go it's on. just Cadian. It's just Italian. It's just a PDF force. They're not a regiment. There we go. There you go. Why? Okay, you could have said that. I'm going right. to gonna... spe speak to the commissar stating... The planet has been lost. There's a high fleet en route. Best case scenario for extraction from the planet is a radio tower on top of a hill. We were nearby, but it is not investigated. I recommend heading there and waiting for us for extraction. He doesn't request oh. extraction, but he nods at your at your news that the planet is lost in sort of a solemn look. The guardsmen around him seem seem half shaken by the news, but they look to him for guidance, and they even they look to you for further guidance. God damn it, Firecat. Well, I sleep on fun. extraction of the Magus. You will all join us. <clears throat> okay. Y'all don't know what you're supposed to somewhere. Hey, at least we have an extraction point secured. So you send, you're sending, are you all in agreement to send them to the radio beacon? The yeah. radio tower, but the radio yes. tower, yeah. radio beacon. Number I five. think that's the best place to send them. Albeit far, it's better yeah. than... It's gonna be the Actually, most here's a question. Dependable. Here's a question. Could the tech um, tech priest repair the vehicle? No. Oh, yeah. It's completely destroyed. Damn it. It would take far yeah. too much time than you have to repair it. Yeah, yeah. okay. So I, we that's are... why I already assumed I couldn't fix it. <clears throat> it's always worth asking. All right, so we send in, you're sending the guardsmen to the radio beacon. Are we all in agreement here? <clears throat> yes. I'd prefer to have the guards follow us. I'll we'll follow you. Guys. You're yeah. the captain, Firecat. So if you want to send them to the. I mean, radio I'm, op beacon. I'm opening to dissenting opinions as well. I mean, having them follow us, I feel like we would just get them all killed the second we head into close quarters. 
That's true. At the same time, letting NPCs out of your sight is not a guaranteed path of safety. Could I follow yeah. the guards and back to the radio You cannot split up. We're from not split up. You cannot split, not split up from up. the squad, yeah. You cannot split up from the squad. When you go into buildings, some of you can choose to remain outside and some go inside, but you cannot split up from the guardsmen. Okay. I mean, you, yeah, you cannot split up the squad in general. You all have to be within... A certain uh, it takes an hour to walk there, so it's not worth having, having us execute the guardsmen to the point. Yeah. But there's a higher chance that they stay with us and actually survive without, having, without us leaving the sight of them. We don't have to take them into the building since Dan stated that. We can have you guys go inside and oh. have us stay outside. Okay, them. let's get them. Let's have them follow us. <clears throat> All right. Also, as I don't know, ask work. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to tell you. I was going to I was going to give you a little hunt, but I, I feel like if, if if you need you need to all think for yourselves cuz otherwise I'm just helping you through the adventure. So you want the guardsmen to come with you? Is the final the final final decision? Yes, the final decision is keep them with final us. Final decision is keep them with us. Okay. The 16 guardsmen and Commissar Sander will accompany you uh, for the rest of the mission until they either die or extract it along with you. All right. So we are moving towards the location. Hey Dan, we will see my, if we uh, can't find the Magos and then we leave. Dan, I have my personal goal now. I want to protect all the gods and try at least get at least six of them onto the dropship for extraction. Yeah, no, those guardmans, we gotta save them. Okay. All right. Let's move. All right. Where are you guys going from uh, number five? Number you're five? Um... Or number six. You're at number six right now. So north to the north yeah, to the north is number two and seven, and then to the north to the west is nine and ten. Yeah, that's nine nice is the command tower. Nine is the command tower where the Magus is, is where where not where he might where not where he is but where he might be. Yeah, I, I think should, should head it's straight better than before. Nine. Right. Yes, nine. Uh, maybe we could pass by eight and then nine because I mean yeah, we'll road. probably see it when we go there. So yeah, yeah. 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 you guys are moving straight west. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna do. What type of formation are we going with the gods? They assume their own formation. Don't worry about it. You can't give them orders. I want to fall in behind and make sure our route is protected. I don't want some some hammer guns coming out of the ground and killing all the godsmen. All right, another hour has passed. You have three hours to get to. Ex you have three hours to rescue the Magus and get to extraction. And on your way to nine. On your way to nine. You are ambushed by by two hormigons. <laughs> hormigons. Hormigons. Oh my. Or termigons. I, I fucking knew it. This is why I took up the rear. It was fucking going to happen. Not going to let they're the, they're the small ones. You could break them by punting them. I mean, yes, I like you can play tennis with them. Yes, but since yeah, it's an I ambush. They all get an, an, they all get the initiative and they get to roll all the attacks. Yeah, I didn't want them jumping up behind the gods and killing them. These are the term these aren't right. these aren't hormigons, these are termagons, they have ranged weapons. Oh. So they get a surprise round at us. Yeah. Um, which leaves us with just reactions. So I don't know their stats. Oh never mind. But do never mind. Termagon termagons are the ranged weapons. Hormagons and the melee. Okay. So as you so. pass by a rocky outcropping in the sand, in the dunes. Two termagants run up from behind each dune and leap into the air, coming down at you. They both have their claws ready, and they seem, and some of them, one of them seems to be targeting one of the guardsmen. That one's getting fucking shot. 1d100. <laughs> one of them succeeds in their roll. Yeah, roll 1d100. And one of them does not succeed in their roll. I'm going to say the... Guardsman one doesn't succeed, so one of them leaps up from behind the sand dunes and strikes down at you with its claw, carving into your armor and doing... Which who, which one? Who, who's taking the wound? Me? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. happily take the wound. Yeah, okay, yeah. LaFleur's taking the wound. It does. Alright, uh, so Flor, uh, are you gonna, are you gonna um, try and dodge or parry? Yeah, you, have a, parry. you have a react- oh no, you don't- uh, do you have a reaction if you're surprised? No. Yes. 
Okay. No? You do. Yes? yes? Oh, I do? Yeah, you have a reaction. Ten. I would like to hit that fucker with my sword. Okay. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that is a react. No, that's a reaction. That's a reaction. <laughs> I was like, I was like, you can't do that. I was like, wait a minute. No, it's a reaction. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna fucking brain the cunt. He, okay. He's like, ah, no, easy prey. He pops his head like a pimple. Roll your roll your weapon skill. It's a or do you okay. have to do that if it's a reaction? Yeah, you do. Okay, hang on. Let me get my stuff. Okay, so it's forty-eight weapon skill. Mm-hmm. There's no bonuses here because it's a, it's a reaction. You fucking brain the cunt. Brain the cunt. <laughs> Just fuck it. I am full of rage before them daring to touch the god. That is that is that is definitely going to kill. Roll the damage. Isn't it two? Isn't it one d ten plus fourteen or two d ten plus fourteen? Yeah, two d ten plus. 14. Okay, roll the damage. You definitely kill it, but I just want to see by how much. I'm gonna. Uh, this is. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna read the critical table now. Five plus fourteen, you do nine. It has a toughness bonus of three, and it has three armor this all around. Impact. So, yeah, uh, so, uh, armor pen of ten. Armor pen of ten. Okay, so you don't it, you negate its armor. So it's, it only it only negates three of your damage, but it only has nine wounds. So you fucking you impact. You, you impact. You your servo arm reacts re reflectively and and literally uppercuts the fucking. Uh, the fucking uh, termagant as it leaps down to strike at you, shattering its skull. I shall inside. read the critical damage. I shall read from the critical damage. Table. And the critical Let's damage one. The, so the critical. Just read number ten for the critical damage for impact because uh, because uh, low, okay, low, low okay. level monsters uh, die instantly from critical hits. All right, head or body. He hits it in the head. Head. Okay. The target's head bursts like an overripe fruit and sprays blood, bone, and brains in all direction. Um, <laughs> as above, except that the attack was so powerful it passed through the target and may hit another target nearby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, the attacker, uh, you. Can he reach the other hermit? Uh, can he reach the other hermit from where he is? Yeah, yeah. Him? They targeted the because the, there's only two of them. They know they're not. They're trying to target the the, the hero guard. So the floor. Okay, so um, well, he's close. If, if if he's close enough to be in within melee range, he could, um, he could. Uh, roll another wound, uh, weapon skill. No. Roll. Well, yeah. He yeah. has to roll the hit. Um, the, the attacker may immediately make another. Same weapon against any other target they can reach without moving. <laughs> Are you ready for another brain termagant? Do you hit it? Yeah. You do? Alright. 49 so... weapon school. Oh god. Okay, yeah, so he brains another termagant. Well. Unless also... you unless you roll a, a nat a nat too, you don't you don't brain it. So you roll two right. D ten. You fucking brain, brain, you brain it again. It's it's splattered. There's nothing except that, except dead. That encounter. And the floor, you completed a titiary objective. Congratulations, you get fifty XP for killing an enemy in melee. <laughs> Just fucking splattered the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess that's tertiary, but I keep saying titiary. Um, yeah, you get the trophy kill. Uh, no. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Um, also, Italo, you also get a tertiary objective, because I forgot to read this. I don't count yours, Fire Cat, because you didn't remove anything. So, LaFleur gets Pride of Arms, the tertiary objective, slay a tyrannid creature in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Italo gets trophy kill. Recover a significant and glorious trophy, such as a Hormagant skull from a pre personal kill. It was a warrior skull. It was a warrior skull, so it's even better. I want to make an helmet out of it. Just fucking dead. <laughs> it, like, like, you, like, you know how you get like those twitches in your legs and stuff when you've been sitting? Still too long. You basically just did that and brain. Oh yeah, how much damage? Fucking... Did I, how much damage did I take, by the way? Because you said it hit my armor. Didn't it you? hit you, but you had a reflex. 
Oh, well, that makes sense. So, so, so it touched you, and your server went, like, what? And smashed <laughs> it. He called him, fuck! <laughs> That's basically how I responded to the Home of Gods attack, and my beautiful guardsman, I'll keep you safe. He was basically, uh, oh, fuck. He was basically, basically playing uh, guacamole with the Thermaguns. Yep. <laughs> Just braiding the fucker while how they come in. <laughs> Me? Me and Cutis, the server skull, will protect you, ye godsmen. They look around. What's They look around confused. Yeah, they look around confused. What's what? They are like, what is he talking about? But they're not gonna. Are they not gonna voice their dissenting opinions aloud since you just saved one of them from, from certain death? All right, that's the only inter. That's the only uh thing, uh, on your way. You guys are stopping at eight before you get to ten nine, right? We're looking at eight before we stop at nine. Uh, okay, you're gonna look at eight. All right, so you arrive at, let me pull it up. You arrive at the gatehouse slash transportation sta station. The wide hangar doors of the refinery complex's gatehouse hang o hangs open like a broken maw, leading to the darkness of the transportation sheds within. The place seems deserted and abandoned, with debris and old adept scribbles, print printouts thrashing around it in the chill wind. The paper's no doubt scattered in a panic of a fearful flight. Of the cargo haulers and other vehicles that were housed here, there is no sign save for the track rutted earth. Well, do we want to investigate guess... or go to the primary objective? I vote for primary objective. I think primary, primary objective, objective in this case. Yeah, let's move. Move to your primary objective so you don't go inside? Okay. Yes. No, it's too risky. I don't want to find out there's a giant horde inside. We only have, it, what, three hours? Yeah, you only have three hours left. And that reminds me, since you moved, I get to roll the dice for time. Oh, dear. Okay, you spent half an hour getting there. Okay. Central control. You arrived there. With the sealed door breached, a dim chamber can be seen heavily cluttered with machinery, consoles, and hanging cables. Dim green emergency light lighting flickers on and off around the room, when suddenly, with a clattering of falling metal, the heavy bulk of an industrial servitor unfolds itself against the far wall as you enter the room. Or as you... because I'm assuming you're going... There's, this is the encounter as you enter the room. Because it's just, just an open hallway, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, is it attacking us? I like the server. No, the server is dead. No, 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 no. It unfolds itself against the far wall. Oh, so it, we could talk to it. It will attack anyone who enters the room without presenting the right access code, but will not leave the control chamber itself. So it won't okay. leave the room, but it will attack you if you enter. Okay, Gosman, stay here. <laughs> Oh, actually, Commissar, do you have anything for that? He says he does not, because he's not from the facility. Okay. Does anyone have a keycard? Nobody has a keycard. I'm nope. going to scream ahead as Dardy's order, kill team, deactivate. That's all I got. It does not deactivate. You do not have the authorization to deactivate it. Alright, I'm just going to... Could I have a chance of knowing it because of my... No. This mechanic no, is not... there is no way to turn it off unless you... It is, it is hard-coded. All right. It's a server it's should've... not a robot. Maybe yeah. we should have investigated that place. Oh. Okay. Well, Godsman, you stay here. You guys deal with it. I'm gonna stay with the Godsman and make sure nothing happens. And we could just shoot it from here if it's not. Gonna... How mean... far away is it? Yeah, how far it's away? At the back how of the... Long... It's at the back of the room, so it's like 20 meters. All right. That's that's less than half range for me. How about you guys? Yeah, we'll That's just an off range. Yeah, let's just stand out here and just gun it down. <laughs> I'm gonna stay with the guys. I'm gonna see how they're doing. I'm gonna talk to the guys and see how they're doing. Yeah, you stay well, back. You, guys... you stay back. The scout will stand. So we'll crouch between one of our legs, and we'll just shoot at it. <laughs> okay. Roll your roll your damage then. I'll allow you to shoot at it from the doorway. I, I turned to one of the guys. I need to roll hey, my. Oh, you did. My auto weapon. I need to roll. I, I need to see how many degrees. <laughs> Door is stuck. I need to see how many degrees of success I have to see how many shots I do because I do up to ten. So. No, it's how many shots. That's how many shots hit. 
If any every full auto burst, you fire ten shots. Yeah. Okay. So I've done what two full auto bursts so yeah. far. Okay. So let's see how many do I hit. Sixty two. I miss. Or no, I don't <laughs> miss. I got fifty two, half range, so plus ten. One. Well, plus seeing 20. seeing as we aren't going anywhere. Plus yeah, twenty for the full auto. Aim. Plus twenty is... for the full auto, so plus thirty total. Um, if you do a full turn aim, 82. you get a plus twenty. I, I I'm doing a just no full turn. I'm just doing eighty two then. Alright. So I got eighty two against the sixty two, so two degrees of success. Congratulations! That's three shots then. Three shots. Roll. Three shots actually hit the bastard. One, two, three. Oh, hey, look. <gasps> what do I do with double tens? Uh, that means you roll two d10s. As your bonus for that. Yes. What if I roll a ten on that bonus? Do I just then you roll and then you keep rolling? <laughs> oh, no. And then we say it's dead. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty much okay. dead. It ended. It ended pretty damn. Yeah. Good. Okay. So you fire. You fire a, a three round burst into the servitor at the back of the room. It crumples, ex exploding apart. Eight plus. In a mix of machine. I want to see how many damage I do. You do a lot. You do. You do more. It only has fifteen wounds, and it only negates eight damage. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. It's dead. <laughs> hold on. Please stop. It's dead. It's beyond dead. Yeah, it explodes apart in a mix of gore and machine parts as it as it so is I did, made. Like, 70 damage split. As it is made, it literally fucking falls apart. Well, I was hoping that you wouldn't do that much damage to it, so I could at least view what it. I obliterate it as I done like three times its wounds. I'm pretty sure All you right. just hit it in the chest, so you might be able to scavenge something. Okay, I don't like. Is it? Is it? To the point where I can still uplink into it and see what it knows, or is it beyond? Because he only hit it in the chest. Are you enter? Are you entering the room? Is what my what my actual question is going to be. Can right, someone see what here. the gods? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back and guard the guardsmen until. All this right. Way. So that way All the right. Tuckmarie can go do it. Cause I'm All right. Now. Firecats leave I'm... the room, and I'm gonna enter as soon as he leaves. And I'm gonna walk up to the corpse and inspect it and it uh, uplink with it to see its knowledge. Well, he can go. We want to follow him and cover him, basically. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna make sure it. the guardsmen stay alive at the door. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I just have to find the proper encounter for entering this room. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! How am I going to hunt them into next week? Into the room, another. Oh, I just hit my mic. As you enter the room, another sound emits from a corner of the room, and it's. It sounds like the scattering of mechanical feet. At, uh, and as you drift further in, perhaps even investigating the sound, you see a hunched over figure, in stained, blood stained, and perhaps even oil stained, adeptus mechanicum robes in the far corner. He seems to be, whoever it is, seems to be leering at you and clutching at something at his side. Uh, I shall make I try a perception. To to I, try I shall to... make a perception. Can I see it? Okay. Uh, can I see it more clearly? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Roll yeah. a perception chest. Tech. It's dark in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that is an eighteen. That is a pass by four factors. It is Magos Viakai in the hiding away in the corner. You can tell. By the, by the markings on his clothing, and perhaps even having remembered what he looked like from the initial the uh, oh, initial uh, description that you received from the, the down servitor uh, in the crash site. All right, that's our target. Do we have that's headlamps that's on our helmets? Some space marines have head headlamps. I don't know if we have headlamps. Uh, fuck it, we have headlamps now apparently. Okay, I'm just wondering. Some space marine suits come with the headlamps. Uh, we have we we have uh night vision in the helmets, so I'm not entirely sure if they do actually have di uh, lights as well. I think the only the ones that don't have night vision. I don't really. They just put something in general, by the way. Okay, so I try to speak to him. 
I use my uh, tech linguist, so what, whatever. But they basically. <laughs> Can you make a. Uh, what is it? Fellowship then? Yeah, it'll be fellowship. Yeah. Um, he'll probably get a bonus because he's also tech. The techie boy yeah. is not that. Yeah, make a, make a tech lingua test. With the, with the fellowship. You fail. Oh, he God. Can't. Your, your voice, your voice uh, modulator uh, seems to malfunction yeah, just for, for a yeah. half second. He can't really understand what you're saying. Okay. All right, uh, can I do something? Can I try and talk to the guy? You can, if you want. All right, you, I shall turn. Okay, you have, to, you have to pass a hard negative 20 fellowship test. Negative 20? Yeah. Fuck me. I am probably not going to pass this. Let's see. Here's my... Surprising luck with dice gonna work with me today. No, it is not. As you talk to him, he backs away from you even further into the corner. Damn it. Hey, All right. Scout, Scout Marine, can you try talking to him? I can try. You can you can okay. keep trying, but remember, every time that every, uh, every round. So, uh, who's staying outside with the guardsman? Is that Firecat? Yeah. Okay, so Firecat's staying with him. Once the three, once the three of you try. Well, once once Italo finishes trying, um, a round passes, and I pass the time. Okay. A round is five seconds. A round okay, is because oh, I okay. well whatever. Well, no, I'm just it's just like you trying to, you trying to negotiate with him. Every okay. oh every few rounds I'm gonna pass the time. Yeah okay. So it's a negative twenty fellowship unless you have forbidden lore, adeptus mechanicus, or or speak technolingua. Uh yeah. no. But I am a uh, gregarious. Uh, I'm gregarious. Oh, okay. Then you get a. It's a negative ten. It will only be a difficult yeah. fellowship test for you. So, like, I'll put away my rifle, go towards him, like, with uh, my hands wide around me, trying to look uh, not so imposing, like normal, mm -hmm. and with uh, body gesture, make him understand that we don't want to hurt him. Okay. Go for ahead now. And... Go ahead and roll. I might just give it to you, regardless, because that was some good role playing, or decent role playing. Sixty-three. Fuck. Yeah, I'll just give it to you. I got, I got forty-three. Oh, you got forty-three? Okay, that's. Uh, or fifty-three. And what's your what's your fellowship? Yeah, my fellowship is forty-three. Oh, okay. He could, well, um, he could have bonuses because actually. Maybe I got uh, interrogation. Mm. I'll just uh, I'll just give it to you. You're uh, cuz you, you know, you actually took into account sh like shit that would be imposing. You didn't just try to talk to him. Um he seems he seems to uncoil himself from the corner and uh, and seems to be at ease. Hit none of, not, none of his mechadendrites around his body, which of of which are several, nor does uh, activate, nor do his hands move to his weapons. He walks forward at first and then his eyes his uh, his Visual mod, 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 monitors or monitors seem to take that you are in fact allies. As he approaches you, he then mm. stay he he uh, stops in his tracks and just await. He seems to be awaiting uh, you to lead him away from where he is. All right. All right. Um, I'll move. I'll, okay. I'll move to the door then and uh, uh, inform the command. Uh, inform the uh, fire sergeant. that we have found out what we're looking for. Okay. Can I take off my helmet and try to talk to him to see what his status is? Uh, you can if you want. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more friendly. I'm gonna remove my helmet and try to speak to him in tech language to see how he is doing and if he has taken any severe damage. Okay. Go ahead and yeah, grow your thing. You said you definitely succeed that. Beneath the bloody cowl, a Voxina crackles into life and an imperious voice barks out. Death Watch kill team is recognized. I am Magus Biologis Zardos Viakai. I am injured and operating on emergency protocols. The full maintenance of con the full maintenance of consciousness is no longer possible. Lead me immediately to extraction. Acknowledge compliance. The swarm approaches. This moon dies. Acknowledge compliance. Message repeats. It okay. seems he, seems he is operating. Yeah, he's operating on emergency protocols. He cannot. 
converse with you. It's, it's his mechanical uh, body that is moving him around. He is technically unconscious. Alright. There's uh, nothing I can do to help him. You so. cannot help him. He, is required, he requires medical assistance. Okay. And we don't have an apothecary. And he wouldn't no, be able we... to use the apothecary because... Yeah, he... Should we pick him up? Like, well, can I can I work on him? Like, he, he, you have machine, right? He, Hopefully. No, so he can move perfectly fine. It's his bio, like his machine oh, parts I, are not damaged. It's his biological parts that are damaged. Now I'm just okay. So we don't stress need to and up. fatigue. Yes. Stress and fatigue, uh, and if any of you want to make an awareness test, perhaps more. Sure, uh, I will do make an awareness test. I can do that. It's not difficult. It's not difficult from where you're looking, by the way. All right, sweet. That is a flat pass. Yeah, flat pass. So I pass. Okay. Uh, all you can see is the dark. Uh, from where you can, where you, where, you, where are you looking as you watch, uh, staring at, as, as you're staring at the Magus? Is you can see that his hood is sort of bloodied and um, oily, like it's it has like a dark blood red tinge to it, like how the blood of the Mechanicum is more akin to machine oil than it is to blood. You can definitely tell that he has been wounded to his head, and he seems to be clutching one of his sides, though it doesn't seem to affect his ability to walk. You are, you are unsure, however, if the, if the clutching to his side is a wound, or if he's holding something underneath his robes. Oh yeah, um, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Hey, uh, Tech Marine. Does he have the data store we need, or is it just him? Hmm? Mr. We Mr. came Mr. here for. He, he does. He it. does, in fact, have the data. The data core on him, though he will not let you see it. All right. Yeah, All right. Then we're good. Then let's go. <clears throat> I put back on my helmet. All right. Okay. We should keep the the tech place too. Between the guards. He automatically goes to the center of the formation where he is most protected. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I like, I like to... All right, guardsmen. We are moving out to extraction. Let's go. All right. Um, this... So we're going to be heading towards map marker five. Map marker five. I'm Because of the distance, I'm going to roll three times for time and twice for encounters. I only have 30 rounds left in my heavy bolter, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you can reload, Bull. I know, I'm letting you guys know I can only shoot three more times. One, yeah, I'm reloading two. 1d5. Just reload. Never up hour. Yeah, I'll let you guys call reload. Uh, so it's been another hour. You have two hours. And, yeah, you have two hours. You have about, about an hour and a half left on your mission. So good job. You're heading towards extraction. And... About, half, about a halfway to your extraction, you encounter, and oh yeah, I just realized this by the way, uh, because you have so many people with you, you actually have a negative. You have a negative to avoiding encounters. It's a plus twenty. It's a plus twenty to the encounters that you can uh, encounter. By and the way, we're going to be moving at a very quick pace as well. You're going to be moving at a quick pace. Yeah, we're going to be practically running. And three hours. Well. Three hours have advanced. Uh, fr from the start of the mission? Yeah, three hours have advanced since before the start of the start of the mission. Practically an hour of game time per uh, hour in game time for every hour that we spent thus far, um, and that adds plus ten to the encounter rolls. You are proceeding at speed, uh, which I'll give you a plus twenty. I'm not going to hit you with a plus tw uh, I mean a, pl a plus ten. I'm not going to hit you with a plus twenty. You haven't recently engaged in a firefight. The area is not abundant in corpses, and you are, tra but you are traveling with a living with a group of living humans, ten or more strong. So you have a plus forty to your encounter. Ooh, that's high. And you only encounter two d five termagants. Again. Termagants. Termagants, the mealy ones. All right, two d five. Yeah, two d five. You encounter eight of them. Now we require. Oh yeah, we do require eight of them. That is indeed. D5. So as you make your way back, you pass. You're passing nearby the crash shuttle, and out from out from the shuttle, uh, four termagants 
run at you. They they were they were hiding in wait. They were waiting for they were waiting for your uh your extraction or they were waiting for you to come back this way. Um and w while others charging you across an open field nearby. Uh you as you you were walking rather close to the shuttle, however, since you were making I was going to say you're making a beeline for the extraction point. Yeah, so, basically. So they're coming at you from both sides. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rip open fire on the four in front. Okay. I'm oh, going to engage the position. I guess uh -huh. roll for initiative. Okay. Nope, that's a fifty. No, that's twenty. Ten. It's D ten, right? Or D five. D ten. Hey, I got a nine. Nine? I have a nine as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Everyone's just nine. <laughs> Everyone gets a nine, and I get. On D10. I got critical. <laughs> the Terminator. Who didn't roll? One of us hasn't rolled. Um, yeah, one, of the, one of you guys hasn't rolled. Uh, oh, wait, on. Yeah. oh, wait, we don't add our agility to our initiative? We do. You add, you, you add your agility bonus. So, so I have the 9 plus 4. It, so already, yeah, it already added. It already added. It's 1D10. Oh. You rolled a 5, and then it added 4 onto it. You got a 9. You all rolled. You and... and a refrigerator both rolled four and bought, got a five plus. Or no, you rolled a four. He you rolled a five and got a four. He rolled a four and got a five plus. So yeah, I can't believe. You and then uh, Cannon Fodder hasn't rolled yet. And he he has that. He's rolling his own dice at where he is. No, oh, what did you? Yeah, roll? I, I have I have an entire box full of physical dice. I'm. Just... And you rolled a nine. I rolled. Actually. Fuck! It would have just been. It would have been a ten. Now that I think about it, because I have a plus five instead of a plus four that I'm used to. <laughs> oh hey. Yeah, so... I just realized it would be ten then. Okay. Nine. So you go, and then the Termagants go. You were the only one with the reaction, or the you're the only one with the initiative enough to engage the an ambush right away. All right. All right then. I have full auto burst time. But but how far away are they? They're you're passing by just just passing just by the crash. So they're about uh, they're about thirty meters. Like they're running. Like they're running out of the crash. They're about thirty meter, meters away. The ones in the Sweet, field are within... the ones in the field are like sixty. All right. So that is within half range for the guys from the shuttle. Um, that is within half range. That is a plus ten. Wait, do you have to roll for the initiative of the guardsmen too, or no? Uh, no. I'm not going to. Yep. So anyway, um, so yeah, from the shuttle is um. Off range is a plus 10, plus 10 for being a tactical marine, plus 20 from a forest, which gives plus 40. And that is a pass by... That is a pass by... Plus 30. Five factors. So yes, I hit all times. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be divvying it up so every single one gets a single shot. Oh, every single one gets, it takes a dip, uh, damage shot? Okay. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four. One D10 plus seven because I get two additional damage with Tactical Marine. And then Pen 10 for the very simple fact that I have an ability that is fuck you. Because of my chapter keep deck, which is surprising. It's really good. Question: If we enter squad mode, do the guardsmen join us in squad? No, mode? they do not. They cannot okay. operate along. They cannot operate using your tactics. That was a question that I wanted to ask. Now while I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Okay then. So, uh, let's do first shots first. Okay then. So, oh, that's right. It's tearing, and it's two d ten. D10, god damn it. So. I'm still at these. 12. 8 and a 9. Plus 7. So that is 17. 24 pen 10. 24 pen 10, first target. 24 pen 10, first target, dead. They only have 9 wounds, it's dead. Yep, so you get one kill. Welcome to Space Marine Combat. Well, 12 pen 10. 12 pen 10, dead. 
Uh, actually, no, not yep. dead. It has, it has a toughness of four. It has one wound. I thought they had toughness three. No, they have... Oh, wait, hold on. Do they? I might be, yeah, you, know, you, might be, you might be right. Okay, let me check. Toughness, termagants. Yeah, they have do. Okay, I'm dead. Yep, no, never mind. Exactly dead. You're right. 14, pen 10. 14, pen 10, dead. And the final shot is Emperor Bless. So that is Jesus fucking Christ. 18, 23, 30, pen 10. 30, pen 10. It, it, it explodes. Dead. It's, it's just missed now. If they just said that, there's, there's, four, there's four fucking termagants, Don. Space Marine combat, ladies and gentlemen. So now that there's just the four at 60 meters charging at us who can't yeah. charge in a single turn. I can't charge in a single yes. turn. Go ahead. They, they, they get closer, though. They're, they're within half range now. They All sprint, right. which uh, is so which six one of us the nine wants to go first? You can go first. All right. I'll, I'll, I think we should go yeah. and roll of actual dice roll, so it should go me. Yeah, yeah okay. Floor. Yeah, that way it makes it easier, because I roll a six, the floor roll the five, and then uh, Raptor So roll the we didn't roll initiative. Yeah, we we re we already rolled initiative. We all rolled nines. He's saying so. he's saying right. he's saying go by your by your unmodified roll. So he rolled a six plus a three, so he goes first. Lafleur rolled a five plus a four, so he can go second. And then you need to low roll a four, uh, uh, a four. So technically, you rolled the lowest. Yeah, yeah that okay. makes it easier to deal with. Well, I want to shoot. Right. Them. Okay. To no surprise to anyone. Yep. And I miss. You miss? All of them. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> that's within half range and full order, which is a plus 30. That's still a miss. So plus 30, plus 20 for 50, right? Yeah, it's still a miss. Uh, I, okay. I have like 50. Oh, what is mine? It is 52 plus, by 2. Yeah. A miss by 2. No, it's a shame. miss by 12. Right. It's a miss by 12. Okay. Oh, yeah, 12. Yeah, okay. Um, that is a shame. Uh, heavy Volta guy missed. Next, please. Either way, I'm reloading next turn. Alright. Or not next turn. Next I'm gonna shoot my bolter. Okay. Full order? Uh, They're within half get... range. Yeah, so, so within half range, you get plus 10, and you're doing a full order burst, which is plus 20, so you have a plus 30 to your ballistic skill. Roll, please. Right. What is your ballistic I'm... skill? It's 38. 38. So it's 38. 38. Yeah. So you pass by. Two factors, which means you only get three shots. Doom, doom, doom. You have three shots. How would you like to divvy them up? Uh, I'll have the, uh, one for each. One for, for each, for... save one. Yeah, one for each. Yeah, save one. Yeah, since so it's four of them. All right. So, so roll, roll damage. So it's 2d10 for damage, right? Three t10, oh. take the highest two. 3d10, okay. Three. So, so that is 10 plus 5, pen 5. Okay, so that's 15, pen 5. First shot. So it doesn't kill. Second shot is 16, pen 5. Plus 5. So that one kills. Yeah, 20, 20, pen 5. And final one is... Uh, 7 plus... 7, 12, pen 5. So you kill one, two of them are wounded with about a quarter wounds. Well, well not really a quarter. Yeah, about but like two, about half wounds left, so about five wounds each. I want to say, because if we count, right. if we if we count for their toughness bonus, so that's three termagons left on the field. Two which are wounded. Okay, it's my turn. Yep. I'm going to shoot full auto okay. and divide the other three thermaguns. Okay. Roll. 61. I think I hit. Yeah, you definitely hit. 61 with a plus 40 to my 52. I hit four times. Okay. I'll try one bullet for each of the... Wounded. And then two bullets for the not one, 
Okay, so for one, one for each of the wounded and two for the non-wounded. Yeah. Okay. I'll count the wounded shots first and then the last two shots. It's uh, Five plus three, 15 14. damage. Five plus three. Plus, yeah, 15. With penetration five. Pen five plus five, so 20. You kill it. Second shot. You kill it. Nineteen plus yeah. seven. Yeah, you kill. I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to look at that. Just, just to see. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't even. Have, yeah, just to see. Plus seven plus nine. Explode. You kill one. The other one explodes. And the two shots. It, it, and it I dies. It dies. It dies. Yeah, no, it explodes yeah. too. You you kill one, and then the other two explode. All right, so that's that encounter. You guys keep moving. I already rolled for your time. You got. You get there with an hour and a half left. Um, so you're at the, you're at the survey beacon you can check inside, but there's honestly, you, since you already have the megas, it's not going to tell you anything that you need. So I'm going to go and hit the big red button that says escape. You, uh, you fire cat, since you are the squad leader, you have the extraction beacon. Would you like I'm to gonna turn it on? You're going to turn it on. Okay. That activates the final section of the mission. Um, okay, we should prepare. I, um, by the way, the we... position. Hold up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, before you hit it, would you like to prepare a defensive right, defen position? I'm gonna. Before I hit it, I would have. I would like to reload and then deploy defensive positions. Okay. And I need to because there's this. Or I. We should activate squad mode, and I need to read my chapter squad mode ability. Okay. Because I know it has something to do with holding a position. Okay. Are we going full hell divers here? Well, T minus one, T minus ninety seconds. Basically, what, on. what are the gods been doing? You you can oh, order them to assist you with the defense, or just to wait for extraction. I like the assistance at defense with us. Okay. Uh, so, where is all the squad mode abilities? Well, can you describe the location a little bit better to us? Is it a platform? Is it a tower? It, so it is a. So here, let me. I'll. I will read the description for the comms uplink. At the very top of a rough, craggy mount that looms above the area, a weather-beaten, be steel-sided conical tower reaches into the frigid sky, topped by a skeletal uplink dish. The tower itself is a hollow structure that merely serves to keep the foul subarctic weather off of the automated machinery of the comms link. Inside are two industrial servitors obeying their emergency programming to defend the area. Stacked neatly off to one side are the bodies of three convict laborers and a tyrannid shrike that came too close to the tower. The comms uplink is the best place for the area in the area for the kill team to effect an aerial extraction and is, as it is high ground away from the main facility. Should the narrow path to the summit be used offensively to mount a stand, it grants a plus 10 bonus in combat, both to hand-to-hand -to -hand attacks and shooting. Hell yeah. On. That's not one. Give me a second you here. Bitch or else with defending you. I can give the guard. Who's going to join squad mode? Well, yes, I would like to join all, squad mode. I would guarantee you all enter squad mode because. Like all mode. right. Because I'm. So I'm going to activate sustained suppression. Just because it is a sustained ability, it's better if we act if we activate it. Oh, what does sustaining do with squad mode? It means that the points uh, cannot be used for something else. They're just being keep, keep being okay. used. Okay. So, if we don't want to use anything else, I recommend using this one. Dark Angels are a master of holding their ground and understanding tactics of overlapping field of fire and kill zones. When, while this ability is in fact, the Battle Brother and those in support range of him may take actions normally while maintaining overwatch. Such as moving and making attacks. So essentially... You can open fire rapid, you can rapid fire, and then we still get the overwatch effects if they move. Nice. All right, is that what you guys are gonna call? You guys all gonna enter squad mode and call this? Yeah. Sure. All right, you yeah. all, you all lose right. one cohesion point. You're down to three cohesion. Okay. And. So there's only one path up to here. Or there is, is like only thinking... one path up to here, but that does not mean that they cannot fly. Can Basically, I, fly? I have the guardsmen pointing out for the sky. Can I give the issue to the gods? Yes, you can. All right, it is the last hour of the mission. All right. I like the godsmen to form first rank and second ranks, and I like them to set up a little bit above 
bus so they can shoot down into there as well as fire, shoot at anything that's aerial. They are stacked up into a column formation, so it's now going to be a little bit harder for them to adjust, but they're able to lay down the most amount of fire. Alright. Mm -hmm. And also tell them, yeah. Oh, so I, 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 like, I would like to describe what I'm doing. But, you know, whatever, fuck it. I guess I should not describe things. No. Okay, my position is at the very top of the stairs, kneeling down with my bolter aiming down the stairs. There's no stairs, mm -hmm. it's just like a room. It's like a... Well, whatever it's it is, path. I'm calling it's, it stairs. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a narrow mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Either way, the best place for me is smack dab in the middle. Yeah, you. so what I was saying was that you're going to be a little bit farther down from us, but the guardsmen are going to be right above you, so as you're shooting, they're able to shoot over your head and not hit If I can find some debris or stuff I can make a cover with, I just hide behind it and I mean, use it as cover because I don't have power armor. Mm -hmm. Man, I should have taken my um squad mode ability, but I like my non-squad mode ability, ability a bit more for our Dark Angels. Mm -hmm. Roll an awareness test. Somebody. Oh, awareness? Sure, I can roll that as two. Yeah, boy. I'll also roll awareness. Uh, no, no, no one else needs to roll. I roll the critical. Nice. We see everything. <laughs> I see everything and into the world. Anything yeah. that comes here, we spot. As you prepare to defend the position after striking the uh, res uh, the um, extraction beacon you notice the ground beneath you starts to tremble as you see and look off on the horizon a vast sw splinter swarm of tyranid approaching your position rapidly from this distance you can only make out the shapes of at least 30 to 40 small tyranid creatures <clears throat> and perhaps among them three large warriors Oh no. Mm -hmm. And perhaps well, the guy. And perhaps even bigger of them all, leading the charge is a tyrannid hive tyrant. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, we, how many turns do we have before they reach us? You have quite you have at least three turns before they reach us. Okay. Uh in the I'm inventory sure. we have the repair cement. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's my idea. For power exactly. Armor. But can I stick three crack granites together? Oh no, you can. I will allow it. I didn't. I'm gonna give I you. Don't my, really. hold on, hold on. I'm going to toss you my three unprimed crack grenades while you're at it. We're gonna make big. Actually, no. Hold on. I'm gonna go ask anybody if they want three crack and three frag grenades. Because I'm going. To I have... will require you to make. A Reaction. difficult, it was only a negative 10, a difficult explosives check, which is... Uh, that's a tech maybe use. Maybe the tech marine <sighs> should make this. Yeah. Alright, I'll make them then. Uh, I'll Let's gonna make go a around fucking and gather, bomb. I'm gonna go around and gather up everyone's oh. grenades then. Yeah, and, I give, and I repair give some six grenades, because I don't need them. And repair cement? Yeah. Did you say... Yeah. Okay, it's gonna take repair cement to make these two? But yeah, because you have to bind them together somehow. You guys don't have rope. Ah, yeah. Okay. I could ask the godsmen if they have anything. They I don't have anything. The I could take the godsmen shoelaces. <laughs> they don't use shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hold on. We can take their shoe, and we can take their boots, and shove the grenades in the boot. <laughs> Why, though? Nah, Why, though? That. that was a joke. That okay. was a joke. I forget that these guys aren't my Praetorian gods where I, you know, try to stylize them to have fucking pseudo laces. Alright. Go ahead and make your tech use. It's not a, it's not a difficult, it's just a, it's, 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 it's just a challenging, or it's a routine. I'll say it's a routine. 70. 70. You don't, you sort of fumble with it. You can't really get them to stick together. The cement doesn't really want to cooperate. Mm. All right. You waste so, a pair. You waste a pair of crack grenades trying this. Well, you know, you waste a bottle of. You waste a thing of repair cement trying this out. It doesn't seem to work. Right. You waste Wait, a this, bucket of repair cement. So this is not allowing me to add my tech use with my intelligence, or what the fuck is this? Tech use just makes the roll unmodified. That means oh, I don't. Okay. I don't add a negative. 
Yeah, so you don't you don't succeed. There's no way. You... Well, if everybody else wants to take one extra frag and one extra crack grenade. Uh, no, nah, my... I'll I'll be I'll throw the grenades. I'll I'll be your grenade. I'll be a lot better. Grenadier, dedicated yeah. grenadier. Okay. All right. I'll ask the gods if they have any frags on them too. Right. I mean, while he tries, I, I'll try to uh, making the fucking. The Tyranids are about 120 yeah, meters out, by the way, so they're. Oh, they're... hold on. How many meters out? 120? 120. I can shoot at this range. So can I. I would like to make a good shot. Yeah, I, I would like to make an initiative roll as well to see if who roll, who shoots first. You don't have to you make an initiative. First. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to shoot then. Alright. That's a horde of 40. It's only a plus 30 to hit. I stand right next to the godsman, right next to I miss. The you fire off a volley. Well, you don't fire off. Well, I guess you. Yeah, I know. You fire off a volley at the Terminators, but all it does is kick up the dirt in front of them. Uh, Terminators. Tyranids. Alright. I take I take aim, and I cold shot head, and I fire. On what? Uh, the big one. Oh, the big Yeah, because, by the way, the Hive Tyrant is not a part of the Horde. And neither oh, are yeah. neither are the warriors. You can far you can target the warriors in the hive tyrant. And can I uh, can I inspect the perimeter to make sure it's secure? It's a, it's, it's a plateau. Yeah, it's secure. You know, I'll, I'll even okay. see the action. So single shots, plus ten from my combat sight, and then plus ten because tactical. Uh, but I negative guess. but negative twenty, so uh. unmodified because it's called shot. Oh, um, that's true. That is a 15, which is a pass by four factors. And that's to the head. That's the head. Now then, this is tearing. So, one, two, three. Which is 2d10 plus 7, pen, pen. Get a That is an 8 and an Emperor Bless. Okay, so that is 15, 25, 30, 32, pen 10 to the head. 32, pen 10. So you ignore yeah. its armor. But it's tough. How much armor does it have? It has 10 all around. It has 10, tough, uh, 10 armor all around. All right, so I got past his armor, which and means has a toughness that of 15, it... and there's a toughness of 15. You do 17 Wait a second, damage. Please. Wait a second, please. I ha I got 32, which mm. means I it, it says damage and a half, which means it's an additional 16 damage, which makes it 48 damage. 48. Okay, minus 15 from that. Minus 15 from 48 is 20. Uh, is 30. 33? It's 33. Okay, you do 33 damage. It has 120 wounds, by the way. I'd like Jesus. to Fuck. shoot at the Hive Tyrant too. The Hive it's Tyrant 120 too? meters out. Make sure you can... Make sure you have the range. Yeah. Um, well, I'm flying his max range of 150, so that's why I'm shooting. So you, no. you can actually fire past that range, you'll just take negatives. Yeah. You take yeah. negatives. There is, so what, what's the distance? 120. So it, it, every every turn, it will it will they'll run uh, 30 meters. But I I need to know the distance. Yeah, it's 100. Is... It's 120 meters from your current location. Okay, I I uh, I want a full okay. uh, full auto burst. I want fuck full auto. Okay. Full automatic fire. I can't activate the beacon yet. Yeah, he did. My, yeah, it's already activated. That's actually what called the swarm. No, it's it's just we're waiting here, and then they notice a lot of things. And 20, I want to shoot with my wait, with the hellfire rounds. The hellfire rounds, okay. Yeah. Do those give you extra? Oh, you don't hit. Uh, I hit once, I think. You hit once? Are you sure? You're. What? What? I need to beat. Uh, uh, oh yeah, no, full wait. auto fire is is plus twenty to hit. Yeah. Uh, wait, plus twenty, plus. You get no? plus thirty no. because you're tactical, right? Yeah. No, I don't hit. I don't hit. I don't hit. I miss by four. I miss. Oh fuck. 
Okay, so you miss. So you also kick up dirt around the Hive Tyrant. You don't hit any of them. Okay. Uh, LaFleur, are you going to shoot at them as they come up? I, I recommend holding fire at this range because we don't get the bonuses for being half ranged quite yet. They also yeah, can those. shoot. They can also shoot back at you. And the Hive Tyrant has abilities at too close of a range. Yeah. Uh, what's the range on the Guardsmen, and how many shots do they have? The Guardsmen aren't can't shoot from this range. Yeah, Guardsmen are way out. And range. the Guardsmen won't even be able to do damage to the Hive Tyrant, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll they should shoot, shoot to the little ones. Yeah. I'll shoot. I was shooting at the horde because at this range I'm not gonna go and try to shoot the high tyrant quite yet. God, yeah, the guardsmen have a range of 90 meters, so they can't shoot till next turn. All right, we all shot, and only one hit. All right, and you did damage to the high tyrant. The tyrant and horde advances another 30 meters. They're now at 90 meters. All right, I'm gonna shoot again. See if I can hit. Plus twenty. Let's see, ninety-six. I miss again. Oh fuck! That's a critical failure. That's a critical no. fail. But he doesn't jam because you guys picked uh, both of the weapon, so nothing happens. Ooh, lucky. Yep. This, this, this is why I picked both two weapons. Is because uh, <laughs> Garnets. Okay, so. Whose turn is it? Whose uh, turn is it? Whoever wants to I take. guess it's mine now. Yeah. Yeah, it goes fire cat, cannon, uh, fridge, uh, floor. Alright, I guess I'll take a full turn aim and then I'll do a core shot head. Okay. So that's a plus 20 and then... Yeah, so you'll get a plus 20 at the at your next turn. Okay. Uh, fridge, go. I don't load again on the... I've tired with the hellfire rounds. Hellfire rounds? Okay. Miss again. I hit. Oh, you hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cause you hit. You wait. You hit. I thought you missed. This time I should have the. No, no, no. I don't get the plus ten because he's not. He's not in. He's not within half range. Right? That's for fucking sure. Yeah. Not, not damn it. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, you miss. Uh, I keep missing. Lafleur, go. God. Wait, don't we get bonus Thank because it's so fucking one. big? No, you don't get That's bonuses. A... You do not get bonuses. Okay. Not for a size class? No, not for size class. Oh. You get a bonus uh, to the board, obviously. Do I... If I take aim, that's for all my shooting? If I don't move... Yeah, so you can... Yeah, now? no, so... Um, so take aim is a half action, and shooting is a half action. So if you take aim and then shoot, you get a plus 10 to your shooting. Or if you if you take aim for a full turn, you get a plus 20 on the next turn. Okay, I'm going to take aim and shoot then. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you hit. That's right on my thing. Oh, okay, and yeah, then plus ten, and then plus ten. So you get you have a, you have one degree of success. So two shots. Yep, two shots. Two shots. So ten, so or yeah, nine, and sixteen, six. plus. Uh, plus five pen, plus five damage. Um, who are you shooting at? I was shooting at the hive tyrant. Okay. Probably so not gonna do anything. No, you don't. So the first shot, first shot does nothing. It it gets absorbed by his toughness. You just barely make it through his armor. Uh, second shot. That's nine. That's sixteen plus five. That's twenty one. Plus five pen of ten. You do one damage, to him. So he's at 86 health. All right, and now it's my turn. Guardsman will go first. Am yeah. I not gonna take a shot? Oh, I okay. thought you already took a shot. No, 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 I go. I, I thought you guys already did. Uh, I didn't. Oh, okay, go, sorry. I, I, I forgot. Aim. Now I was gonna take the shot. Take oh. the shot! 
All right, so I got a plus ten because of because of gun sight, and I get a plus ten because te technical marine, which gives me plus twenty. Cold shot head, which is why I don't get a bonus from no, you... my alternate aim. Okay, that is a pass by a factor. So two shots. Um, it's a core shot, so it's still one shot. Oh, it's still one shot? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Trying to get that dice luck. Uh, yeah, boy. Damn it. 20 pen 10. 20 pen 10. So you negate his armor, you do 5 damage. Yay, that's something. He's down to 81. Alright, so now it's the guardsman's turn. Uh, gonna roll 1d100. They get, oh my god, they get 2. So they fire, they fire 3 volleys, all 16 of them. And they do... Or they don't fire three volley. Well, you technically they do. They do three D ten damage. Yeah, they all line up in a nice little formation too. I like it. E plus three. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. They don't. They don't do any damage. Oh wait, no. They do. They do fifteen damage to the horde. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they would be aiming at. Yeah, that's what they. They're definitely. Yeah, they do. They do fifteen damage to the horde. So. Every shot that does damage reduces the horde's magnitude by one, so they reduce the horde's magnitude by fifteen. It's now down to uh, twenty-five. Nice. So go pew. The commissar goes fire, and they all fire in the formation, and they just they wreck the termagants. But the 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 horde is a mix of termagants and hormigants, and they get to shoot back. Oh God. So they fire as they fire in the same sort of thing, um, and they're gonna be firing at the. Uh, uh, Wouldn't they be shooting at me because I'm a closer target? Yeah, they would. They'd be firing at whatever is closer. Um. Oh. And then I get a reaction to return. Never firing. mind. They do not have the range. They only have a range oh, cool. of twenty meters. They do not have the range. Oh, good. Okay, I closed the book by accident. Okay, so they move another 30 meters closer. All right, I'm going to shoot, and I'm at half range. Yeah, they're now at 60 meters. Next, uh, in one more round, they'll be So, within. full auto, plus 20, half range, plus 10, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a plus 30, and I've got 52. 52, that is a pass by at least six. Okay. Six, so I'm getting seven shots. Yeah, yes, boys. I don't think it should be said, but I am shooting at the big fucker. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, the guardsman can handle this horde. The big fucker should die. Mm -hmm. One. Right, two. Three. What's your pen? Oh, that's an emperor in there. That's an emperor. Six. Sixteen. My pen is six. Uh, six. Oh, your pen Three. is six. One, oh. two, three. Four. Another emperor. Five, six, Jesus Christ, Christ. seven. Oh. Time to calculate right. that. Yeah, now please. time to calculate this. I'll do it. I'll do it. To, so nine plus eight plus seven plus nine plus <laughs> ten plus four. My <laughs> son, the first plus is uh, eight plus ten. Yeah. Plus three, we have a highlight plus eight, winning. plus six, plus three, plus ten, plus nine, plus two, plus six, plus five. Fuck, I'm gonna have to throw. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. 117. You rolled 117. Remember to reduce. That's accumulated <laughs> damage, though, from over seven shots. Yeah, that's accumulated yeah, exactly. damage, so we have to apply yeah. the. So, give me the. So, the first shot's damage, how much does it do? First shot's damage did, oh, I'm having to scroll up, did 9 plus 8, 17. 17. 
Any pen six. Ten six. Pen six. So it's pen six. So it pierces ten. Uh, six of the ten armor. So there's four armor left. So four away, and then it has a fifteen toughness. So fifteen away. So nineteen away. Jeez. Yeah. No. It. It's not. It's tougher than you think. Um. So how much after nine? Seventeen that, damage after seven, all the modifiers. Seventeen damage. T oh, seventeen damage after all the modifiers. So first shot does nothing. So unless it does more than what? Unless it does more than 25 damage. Jesus. With a pen. 25 it, damage. 25 damage. Pen. Yeah, including pen. Pretty much. Oh, well, no. Including pen. If, if you have a pen that beats at least 5, 20 damage. If you have a pen. Yeah, because you all have a pen of 5, you need at least 20 damage uh, to well, beat I'll it. Well, I'll tell you this. With the, exception of, with the exception of Cannon, who only has to hit it. And do more than 15 damage. So I do 2 damage. You do 2 damage. Okay, so it was at 81. It's at 79 now. I do 1 more damage. 78. You think we're going to win, Cutis? I do 1 more damage. And that's it. 77. Cutis thinks we're going to win, Dan. Alright, 77 damage. So, I mean, 70 has 77 wounds left. So, that made me feel good. I'll say that much. Right. Uh, I guess it's my turn now. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So I'm just gonna do a half turn, oh, aim, and then hey fire, guys, you know which we means I only have plus two. We get Overwatch every turn. Oh uh, wait, really? Uh, mm -hmm. that's true. Okay. Do all your attack roll. Do all your attack. Ro Let everybody do their attack roll, and then we'll call Overwatch. Twice. Well, you get one. You'll okay, get there's a pass by a factor, cold shot head, which now means I need to do damage. Go on, bro. Tell me I can multi emperor this shit. I multi emperor other things. Okay, that's an emperor there. Nate. Nine. Ooh, guys, yeah. What are the, what are they at? Ninety meters it's right now? Yeah, it's only been one turn, right? Twenty-eight. Or are they at sixty? Yeah. No, they're they're at, they're at sixty. Oh, yeah. I would definitely. Five. Ooh. So thirty-five. Thirty. Get ready to be out of squad mode, by the way, because I'm not making this easy. I'm gonna hug my cover. Okay, right, 52 right, damage. Uh, 52 after damage after uh, with damage and a half. With Not oh. including the damage. Oh, is it already included the damage and a half or 50? Yeah, that's 52 damage including the damage and a half. Okay, 52 minus 15 is uh, 40, 38. 38. No, 37, correction. 37. 37, correction. 37. He's down to 40 wounds. Okay. Um... Plonk. Plonk. Can I go? Plonk. Yeah, you can go. And then it will be Okay, and time. again, full auto. 58. That's a success. I hit. You hit. This time I hit. Four times. Four times. There With Elfire rounds. Uh, Elfire rounds in your uh, natural armor. So, ah, fuck. Real. <laughs> Real. Real. We have 17 people yeah. watching. Okay. 23. So oh, it's uh, 19. God damn it. What did you not? I keep writing real. Oh. <laughs> Twenty-three, seventeen. Ooh. That the uh, twenty-three definitely does some damage. Ooh, 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 ooh nice. And an emperor roll, roll for additional damage. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, so that's uh, okay. So that's eighteen plus eight, which is twenty-six plus seven. I, in your, I completed your natural armor. 
Oh, he completely ignores natural armor. Because they are, uh, are health around. Okay, so 15, subtract 15 from each of the damages, then. Okay, yeah. uh, the first hit does, uh, deals only 4 damage. Okay, so he's down the to 36. Is, uh, wait, 15? I need to subtract 15? Yeah. Yeah, 15. Okay, so the third deals 4 damage, the second deals 1 damage. 1 damage, 35. The third deals uh, mm, two damage, okay, and the last one deals thirty-three, uh, eighteen damage. Eighteen. Okay. Twenty-five damage. Twenty-five damage. Oh, oh, twenty-five damage in total. Okay. Total. Okay. Total. Okay, so he's down. So he's at forty. He does twenty-five damage in total. So it's fifteen. Fifteen left. 15 wounds on the hive tyrant. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. And LaFleur, go. It's your, it's your turn. Can you take down the hive tyrant? He's going to do something that you're not going to like. All right. Spray it oh. down with bolt of fire. Fire cat, cutest thinks that you're doing great. All right. <laughs> Even though I literally have uh, 30 rounds of amulet left. Yeah, we know. Don't worry, Cutis has been keeping count, Firecat, for you. Since the man in the submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are you gonna do from the floor? Me and Cutis are gonna shoot at the Hype Tyrant. Full auto? Yeah. Of course, he can't do anything else. <laughs> You guys have a choice to do anything other than pull on it. Okay, 36. Plus 20 to hit, because it's full auto. And you got plus 10 because it's within half range, isn't it? It's all, yeah, it's 60. It's, yeah, it's 60. I don't think it's 60, and the range of the bolter is 100 meters. 100 meters? No. Uh, I thought it was 120. Uh, I was wrong. I thought I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. Let me check. Heavy bolter is 150 meters, so yeah, it, is, it, it is within half range for a heavy bolter. No. Yeah, but he's a he, uh, Lafleur. Is, Lafleur is using a normal bolter. Then never mind. Okay. All right. So Lafleur hits with two degrees of success. Three shots. Three shots then. So eight, eight. Okay, eight does nothing. 14 plus 5 does nothing. You deal 2 damage. Alright. 13 right. wounds left. 13 wounds left. I Guard say headstrong right next to the guardsman too. Guard I'm not gonna let... Guardsman. Open fire on the horde again. They miss. They don't They don't land any of their shots. Uh, it, it, I think this is a big horde. Don't they get a... Hit to hit oh them. yeah, they get 30, but they only have 30 ballistic skills, so they miss anyways. Rip. Okay, and now comes the fun part. The Hive Tyrant activates Yay. the Hive Tyrant activates its psychic power, the horror. You all must make a negative 30 willpower modifier. Save. Negative Fuck. Three. Negative uh, 30. So take your uh, willpower, subtract 30 from it. You have to Jesus make Christ. Firecat makes it. LaFleur does not. <laughs> I had to make a 16. I will power. It is 36. 36. You have to make a 6. Alright, I'm gonna... Um, one of the things you can do with uh, fate points is that you can temporarily use them to bump up a result by 10. Okay. Which I'm going to do. So that I don't fail this test. <laughs> okay. So you make a negative 20, then. Yeah, and I just made it. You made it? Okay. So, so you lose two more cohesion points, because both of you failed. Every person that failed this test lost a cohesion point. If three of you had failed, you would have fallen out of squad mode and been unable to go back into it. So you would have lost all bonuses from squad mode. Uh, the Guardsman. I guess it's time for Overwatch time. Go into a panic. The Guardsman... 32. Go to ground. They run. Every single, the one of, every single one of the guardsmen run. The commissar. Oh. 
1D100. I need to go to his stats because he is a unique character. Oh yeah, the Robo Boy. The Robo Boy doesn't get affected by willpower. Cause yeah, he's yeah, because he's because he's technically <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> Commissar Falco Sander has a willpower of 50. He must make a 20 or or be stunned because I will, he will operate on the same thing as you. Willpower of 20. Roll 1D100. He makes it. He stands his ground. His guardsmen retreat. Can he execute one to have them stay? God damn it. Can he execute the commissar one to have them stay? Can the commissar execute one to make them stay? The commissar, he doesn't have any special he doesn't have any special abilities. We should treat it like he can he can, we could treat it like Oh no, he has air of authority, unshakable faith. Unsha he has air of authority, unshakable faith, and nerves of steel. Oh shit. Uh, oh nerves of steel, he doesn't have to care. Oh yeah, he doesn't oh, yeah, have to care. Doesn't care. I forgot. Uh, wait, it's never steel. He, he has doesn't... error of authority. That means he oh, can make the gods and stay, right? Let me see. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah, he, I, he, um, I think he people has like 20 in or something area. to checks. Oh yeah, sorry. People oh, in the I'm area. Gonna scroll down. I'm gonna read them. Yeah, can you can you go find me? Uh... Yeah. Error of authority. I, That's on the tell. Like, yeah. Can meeting. you go? Can Walker. you? Yeah. Can you find me error of authority and? Uh... I have only war two. Oh, error of authority is. Fellowship no, tests. not in only, yeah. not in only war. They're all, they're off the uh, boy, so they would be the only war. Area of authority uh, is one command. Uh, on a successful command test, the character may affect a number of targets equal to his fellowship bonus plus one d ten. Oh, okay, so he's gonna make a command test to save to to negate the hive tyrants. Uh, the hive tyrants. What's it called? The um, uh, ability. Ability. The psychic ability. He's gonna roll 1d10. He's only... He has only... Unfortunately, he doesn't have that high of a... Thing. Uh, of a... He doesn't have it's that high of fellowship. fellowship. Yeah, he has only 35 fellowship. Does he have any bonuses to command? No, he does not. Okay, then he, never mind. He doesn't He, make, he critically anyway. failed. He turns around and the guardsmen have already scampered off. They're too... They're far too scared. I grab. I try to grab as many as I can. I don't want any godsmen to leave. I have to save six of You're them for my fucking. No, I like they don't. Like they run back towards the 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 beacon. Oh, so they're not gong gone. They're, they're not run. Them. They're not stupid. They're not running towards the enemy. They're running back up the hill. They're just they're just forfeiting their defensive position. Only I'm the gonna fall back up. Only the commissar remains. The... Okay, only the commissar yeah. remains. You fall back up the hill. Firecat, do you remain on the slope protecting it? Me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. I'm going to stand. Okay. The high I would like to make a command test to tell my brothers to hold their ground. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. What? Is that no, no. No, never mind. I'm just, I'm just thinking. All right. Come on. Uh, really quickly, though, before you do that, uh, Firecat. The high tyrant does not have a weapon to shoot at you, so don't worry about that. The Hive Tyrant also uses Catalyst, a psychic power, infusing... He can, wait, can he use both of... Can he use more than one? Yes, he does. He does not... Uh, Tyranids do not no, suffer from... No, a Hive Tyrant may only use a single psychic oh, power. Oh, yeah, single psychic tyrant. power. Okay, yeah, okay, never mind. Okay. Not to kill us. <laughs> not to kill you. Okay. All right, then. Uh, yeah, okay. Then. He, okay, he just doesn't use the perils of the war. Okay. All right, then. Uh, yeah, that's the end of his turn. Um, the warriors can't shoot at you, they just keep coming. Um... Alright then. I'm going to fucking bring that tyrant down. Watch me. I'm going to... Sh yeah, I'm going to shoot into the horde, because I'm expecting you guys to handle the tyrant. Okay. Alright, I see. shall do court shot head. Um, it's within half range now. Yep. So it's within half range, so it's flat there, and then plus 10, plus 10, so plus 20. Court shot to the head. And I make that to no surprises. Oh, yeah, no, we, we get um, Overwatch as well. This should be our Overwatch action. That's a good point. Well, that's, that's the point. Because I'm going to fucking shoot the every little shit up. So you get two shots at it, basically. Yeah, one non uh, one non called shot and one called shot. So this will be the non called shot. We might as well do them both in succession then. So. Okay, gonna use a fate point to reroll damage. Because that was too low. 
Okay, what? How many fate points did you roll, by the way? You, you. I have one remaining. You have one remaining. Out of okay. Four. Um, they will be replenished at the end of this round, because... No, they... they oh. Hmm? You, I mean, they don't replenish not... ever unless I give them to you. Uh, no, I'm not burning them. I'm temporarily using them. There's a difference. Burning a fate point will allow you to survive completely fatal state. Oh, and... Um... Temporarily using them. Yeah, I it's, uh, they... if... Did they change... Did Was that from, uh, Dark Heresy? Because I, I... That's not how I read it. Uh, oh, yes. You um, can do if, if you, you can all use them. Yeah, um, them it, um, you got two uses of fate points. One of them is use, and one of them is burn. Oh, okay. Um, I'm using it, not burning it. Okay. Because burning a fate point when you're shooting at stuff can do stuff like I going to guarantee a critical of high power, stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, um, I just got an emperor, so let's see here. 9 plus 10 is 19, 25. Plus seven is thirty-two at pen ten. Thirty-two pen ten. Um, so let's double, uh, add half, which is sixteen. Which is, um, we'll actually just add one actually. So yeah, thirty, uh, which is a thirty-three, uh, thirty-three damage after damage soak to the tyrant. Thirty-three damage to the tyrant. Fifteen. You kill it. Oh, no, you don't kill no, it. Af after, after the damage soak. After the damage soak? 33 after the damage soak? Yeah. How the fuck yes. do you do so much damage? It's called... Uh, it's called critical hits. <laughs> it's called Emperor Blessers. They're great. Okay, well, the hive... Where you shot it in the head? Yeah, I got it in the head. So it's 33 after soak? He's fucking... He's, you're, you explode the hive tyrant's skull. Yeah, boy. That goes way beyond right, critical so, damage. So now do your overwatch. He's not dead yet. No, he's dead. No, that was a called shot. You get the non-called shot overwatch. Yeah, you can. You okay, can call uh, for... now I can shoot at anything else. Yeah. Which I'm going to fire at a tyrant. Uh, uh, one of the warriors. At one of the warriors. Okay, the warriors are unscathed since you all dumped ammo into your. Into the big one. So now we're going to dump them into slightly smaller ones. Are they moving up the ravine thing now? Uh, no, uh, wait, hold on. Yes, they are. They're they're at the entrance, they're at the bottom of the ravine, and then the next turn they'll engage in melee with fire cap. At the All end right. of next turn. Uh, oh, so we get the plus 10 now. Yeah, you get the plus 10 now. So, like, the, the next, well, you get the plus oh, 10 in melee as well. So I'm getting a plus 50. <laughs> Alright, so that means I get four, I hit full auto burst, two, I'm gonna put two rounds in into, into two different warriors. Mm -hmm. First roll, no, first damage roll. Shit. Shit. Yeah. There we go. Not too, not too good, unfortunately. That's at ten plus seven. Seventeen pen ten. Seventeen pen uh, ten. Second, second shot. To the warrior. Pen 10 re and I've been using. I used up all my luck on the tyrant. Now it's uh, fourteen pen ten. Fourteen pen ten. Uh, Seventeen pen ten. So you do uh, eleven damage. All right. Now for the second uh, target, cause Rat another random fresh warrior. Yeah, this, oh, this is the other fresh warrior? Okay. There's only two of them. Ten. Fuck a second. Seventeen pen ten. There we go. That's not. And then seventeen twenty four. Twenty four pen ten. 24 pen 10, so 14 damage, so uh, 34 health left on the second one. Okay. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go now shoot at the horde. With the heavy bolto. So, 56 plus 20 because 
full auto, plus 20 because short range, and then plus 10 because they're on the ramp, so plus 50, so I've got a 56. Uh, and then plus... 52. Uh, and then plus 20 because it's a whole... Plus 20, so it's a 52 plus 70. Yeah. 52 plus 70. So I roll. So 122 is, is the percent, and then I rolled a 43. Okay, you do get the uh, 43. Eight shots hit. <laughs> All right. Um, and because and because it's explosive, it counts as nine. Mm -hmm. So roll so nine, nine damage. Roll. So this is going to be plus ten. All of these damage is plus ten. I forgot against the hive tyrant that it's a plus ten. Hive tyrant's dead. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, <laughs> Two emperors. 2d10. There's two, three, four, five, six. With an emperor. Seven, eight, nine. All right, ten. that's it. Oh, I'm gonna delete this. Delete the last. I'm gonna delete this I last one then. Okay. okay. I got it. What are you shooting at? The warrior. The horde. The horde. The horde. The horde is fucking gone. Okay. Let us. Let me really quickly add up all I did. Ten plus ten plus twelve. The, the plus horde's gone. Dude. Six plus eight plus. I don't even. I don't even need these numbers. The sec. The second you said nine shots with ex with extra damage and rolled all of those, the horde's fucking gone. <laughs> I, I agree with you because I. Okay, so I did nine shots. Without doing all of the math, that's 90 damage. Yep, the horde's fucking gone. Every every point of damage n kills one one member of the horde. Just FYI. I like, I like to try to rally the gods and point out the fact that the horde's now gone. <laughs> Alright, try to restore their morale. Make a, fellow, oh, make a fellowship, Dan, then. Dan, hold on, I'm, I'm... Hold on, doesn't something happen when we kill a uh, hive tyrant? Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, you don't even have to kill the horde. You guys killed the hive tyrant. The horde flees. And the horde flees. It's not. It's no longer under con the control. And the warriors are stunned. The warriors are stunned. So you shoot at the warriors. <laughs> okay, so I shoot at the. I shoot at one of the. One of the warriors is just paced. Let's just say that. Yeah, the one. One of the warriors is gone. Absolutely gone. <laughs> so there's one warrior left. Yeah, when you kill a hive tyrant, every unit that isn't an elite flees in. Uh, discourse they don't their 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 mind connection to the hive is ruined so they become feral and when they become feral they leg it yeah they just leg it they don't they, they're not commanded anymore okay so one of them's just pace you killed one of them uh you shot eight times right 90 damage nine times nine, time, 90 damage 10 times 10 damage a shot Oh wait, no, no. It would be a uh, eight times with plus eighty damage. Okay, you killed. Should, I, should I, I add up all the shots now? Uh, I don't even know. Like, I got it. That's a lot of dice. That's a lot of dice. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. I got it. This is like easy mode. This is really just like easy mode. I'm definitely gonna have to, like. I'm definitely gonna have to fucking. Put, this like, is bump. I'm 128 combat. plus 80, so 208 <laughs> damage. Okay, they're gone. It's dead. You killed. You killed. You killed the two remaining warriors. The horde flees. In it terror. doesn't matter what its saves are. It's dead. It's dead. And, uh, yeah. No. Exactly. Cause even, oh, I mean, like we could sit here and like go shot for shot. What pen? What and what didn't? But like. You did plus 10. For every shot. For every shot. <laughs> so, yeah. It's like the tabletop, but if you fire 100 shots at a Godwin squad, you know, like, okay. Yeah, I'm not rolling that many dice. They're dead. <laughs> Alright, so, you guys bring down the final encounter for this mission. Alright. That wasn't very hard, but they're going to get it much harder from here because I know what you guys can do now. I take because off. that was the tutorial level. That was the Coulson's tutorial. History. I hope you get <laughs> next <laughs> next week. That was week, the tutorial, and we escaped without a scratch. Next week Good we have job. we'll probably have more people joining us, so I get to make it even harder. And I actually have to write up next week's mission. 
All right. I should have, I should have chosen Apothecary. Jesus Christ. After what Apothecary's after good. what seems to be an ag- agonishing, agonishingly long wait at the extraction point, while the dark boiling clouds on the horizon sweep in with appalling speed, a sudden data burst proclaims the imminent arrival of the kill team's rescue. You detect a sudden sound, unexpected and dreadful, like a dull, continuous thunder, growing quickly closer. With shock, you realize that the sound you can hear is the coming of the Tyranid Swarm, made up of a thousand, thousand running clawed feet, and the clashing of numerous fanged maws in expectation of the feast. The death has come. It is then, like deliverance sent from the Emperor himself, that the Thunderhawk that you had called breaks the boiling purple-black clouds above you, its dark hull pitted and scored with acid pockmarks, but its engines roaring white-hot in defiance of the storm. The pilot doesn't, dares not land, but with consummate skill drops the main hatch at the, hu- at the hover, and you and your companions, as well as the guardsmen and the, and the commissar, leap aboard to safety. You glance back at the, as the hatch draws shut to see the, a limitless tide of horror begin to roll across the tortured earth below, and at last, doomed Tantalus dies beneath you. However, you have escaped the jaws of death, and will continue your watch another day. What do we miss out on? I'm curious now. Okay, so what you missed out on, because there's no going back, we're never coming back here, because you physically can't, because it's going to be eaten by Tyranids. You missed out on saving one civilian. It wasn't a tertiary objective, though, but he was hiding in the ma- in the uh, in the mag train siding. He would have mm, uh, he would have given you the badge required to override the um, servitor protecting the magus and made it so it wouldn't attack you. Uh, I it was see. A- so that it was you know the the train hub that we found and we decided not to go into. There's a civilian in there with an ID badge. I would have allowed us not to. No, no, he was. He him. no, no, he was. He's number two on the map. He's north of the of number six. He's the compound, like the one on the railway there. He's there. Oh, okay. So oh, if you okay. guys had no. gone. There's, no more... There's something far more important to ask. What? What was in the hole? Tyranid warrior. Oh. oh. Yeah. No, no, no. which I thought would have, which I figured would have given you more like of a challenge, but then you guys murdered like three shrikes in under like in a single turn, so we're definitely going to. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's called hey, they're really close, and I have a gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's called hey, they're really close, and my gun fires light and bullets only. So other than that, you you failed one tertiary yeah, objective, but it wasn't really that required. Like tertiary objectives are literally just extra shit. Sure. Um. Since none of you, since none of you gate like actually searched the room the Magus was in, there was uh, debt. There was debt charges in the room that you could have uh, applied to the main fuel silos, um, outside the uh, outside the control room at, at ten. And if you had activated the facility to uh, half power, you could have blown up the facility, which was a tertiary objective. Oh. Uh, I didn't so, think about so that. that was 50 experience that you missed, but you did complete quite a lot of of them. That was the only one you failed. What we get for to be, to be fair, we didn't we didn't really think of destroying the facility as high up. Yeah. I mean that's. Uh, I mean, not that all so I mentioned my objective the was destroy door. It, it wasn't. It, yeah, no. It, that's why it's a tertiary objective. That's why you guys got to think. Always think. Thing. I'm not gonna tell you tertiary objectives. You have to guess. Them. You have to guess. Oh no! Well, I mean, it's like there was no like. Why would we want to blow up the facilities? Is my question. Why would you give it to the aliens? <sighs> they're gonna eat everything anyways. Yeah. They're collect that. Yeah, they're gonna collect it. Yeah. Why would you give it to them? Oh, valid point. You're, I mean, you're I, space I, marines. You hate them. It's just all about just spite. All about... <laughs> okay. All right. So. Get your character sheets out because you have experience that you have earned. Do we gain anything for saving the gods? Room? Yes, you do. That was a tertiary objective as well. Save Hell yeah! Whole or to save a certain amount. Um, to, to to it was only to save the uh, the commissar. Oh okay. All right. How many XP? How much XP do we get? So for the primary yeah. objective, you get five hundred XP for rescuing right. the data core that the Magus carried on his person. For the secondary objective for rescuing the Magus himself, you get 500 XP. Okay, so. That's 1,000. Yeah. LaFleur, 
You completed the Pride of Arms tertiary objective. And you get 50 bonus XP. Firecat. 50 and... XP. Yeah, Firecat and Fridge. You completed the trophy kill oh. tertiary objective. Tertiary. You both get 50 oh. XP. Because yeah. I took the corpse. corpse. <clears throat> You carry that the entire time. Can Fuck. Cannon, Fridge, and LaFleur, you honored the Adeptus Mechanicus. You completed the honored the Adeptus Mechanicus tertiary objective by rescuing the Magus in person. You all get 50 XP. Uh, wait. Okay, I'll wait, sorry. No, uh, the, this one. Was it? What was it? How much? It was 50. 50. Okay. All tertiary objectives are 50 XP. All right. <clears throat> Honor the Emperor's loyal servants. You all you all rescued and secured Commissar Sander and extracted him at the end of the mission. You all get 50 XP. How many? 50? 50. 50. It's all 50. Purge the Xenos. You killed, you killed quite a few. You killed as many Tyrodents as you could. <clears throat> you all get 50 XP. Yeah, boy. Right. Yeah. And the and the objective that you failed: deny the enemy what is the emperor's just due. Destroy the refinery facility on departure. All right, fair enough. We did not think about that. Mm. This is our first time playing, so we'll know next time. Well, I mean, I really didn't see the point. I mean, they're not orcs. They're not gonna steal technology. They're fucking tyrants. They're gonna eat it down. Yeah, they're gonna eat it down and use it as ammo against us. We didn't think about that. Alright, and oh. let me go to Renown. You also all earn Renown for completing this mission. But I need to see how much you actually earn. Uh, let me just... I'll just use the PDF now, because we're not going to be... This is pretty much the end of the session. So, hang on. So, I would like to learn... So, we did, so we missed out on the civilian at the place. So yeah. We're giving us the key card. What about that train depot thing you was talking about? That transit that, hub? That just had all my gods inside. Oh, okay, so so it was, it was good that we just yeah. Okay, so it's good that we just ignored it. <laughs> Any other locations? Or those the only. Uh, um, only you also missed out on the housing, the prisoner housing block, but that was literally just a waste of time. That's number seven. Hmm. Yeah, it's that that one was just to throw you like that. That area is just to waste your time because it takes forever to navigate it, and it's it's just filled with enemies. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me get to, me get to Renown, and then we can finish up here. So um, number ten, hang on. Number ten was the house and block. <coughs> right, so no, number ten. Stay. Number ten was number ten is the fuel the fuel storage. Number oh, nine is the control right. center. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two, three, two. Okay, two, three, two. So it's a good thing we didn't go to seven. We didn't yeah. go to six. We did go to the canyon number three, where the guardsmen. No, the guardsmen are at three. I mean six. I'm glad oh, we went that... to the guardsmen. Yeah, I'm very happy that we went to the guardsmen. I'm very happy that we got to save them all. all Even though they did them. jack shit against. Okay, the... yeah. yeah so if you bit. had gone from six yeah. to two to three. When you go, when you, you, if you walk, if you get to three, you can walk under the, the grav train lines and not be attacked. You won't get an encounter. Because you won't be able to be easily seen. Okay, that makes sense. What would have happened if we just sent the godsmen to uh, the radio tower? They have all been killed. No, if you had sent them to the radio tower, they would have, they would have set up defensive positions there. If you had told them to hold their ground, they would have died. And if you had uh, sent them somewhere else, they would have died. Okay. Okay. So literally having them with us or sending them to the radio yeah, tower. Yeah, bringing the them with you added. Live. Bringing them with you added a ten, like a, a plus twenty to you getting attacked by other shit, like during the encounters. Mm -hmm. Like you could have encountered that splinter horde just by walking That's around right. if you had had them with you. But luckily, the dice were in your favor. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we're gonna. Have a... <laughs> Well, what I was thinking this whole time was that if we sent them to the point, you were just going to kill them because we haven't worked at the radio tower, no. actually. No, no. There was nothing wrong with the radio wrong. tower. Oh, yeah, because you mentioned those two servitors still active and doing their job. Mm-hmm. All right, so for Renown, here we go. 
Uh, that's not it. Oh, again, I can also make you guys have shitty beginnings. Uh, page 270. All right, so re renowned rewards. Let's get this done really quickly. <clears throat> okay. Pardon me. All right, you all get one all renowned get point. One point. Oh, somebody, I'm feeding back through somebody. Okay, we all get what? You get one renown point for completing all mission primary objectives. Yeah. Okay. One for completing the secondary objective. <clears throat> one for completing. So just two yeah, uh, one for completing five or more objectives. I think you guys completed five or more objectives. Yeah, we did. And, so we get to three? Yeah, you get three renown. Alright. So, to make Cutis more of an actual thing for next time, man, I'm gonna spend my experience points to get the, um, get the, um, knowledge of the ancients, so then I can b use my faith points to have Cutis help me guide us where we need to go. Alright. Just, uh, we'll do that next time. So just mark it down on your thing that you have, uh... You have experience, and then we'll we'll go through the skills you want to buy. Okay. <clears throat> Pay into next time. Procedural work. So just tell me once you have all your renown, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap everything up. Yeah, three renown, right? Yeah, three renown. Yep. yep. Just, and then I'll have to get to writing that next mission. So what'd you guys think? I liked it. Yeah. Space Marine combat in a nutshell. Shoot it until Shoot it, it dies. Until That's I, not Space Marine combat until it in a nutshell. There's turn. sometimes a chainsaw in there. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Shoot it or, or, or chainsaw it until it dies. Well, I don't know. Spending some my some my stuff I'm getting. Yeah, feel free to like look at the stuff and pick out what you want, and then tell me it next time we play, which we'll probably play next Sunday as well. And we'll hopefully have more people. Do you want the do you want the game book expansion stand? Or do you want to write your own? I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write my own. I'm gonna continue with this mission, and then when we can, I'm gonna finish with this mission series, and then when we when we have like a good, good. um finale then we'll move on yeah. to like another campaign okay so so, so, so what's everybody so else's everybody else's views it was pretty it fun was pretty fun it's fun being a campaign with space ring i like the gods man yes well you'll have plenty more of them in the future hopefully uh, Fridge, uh, Fridge. Uh, we're getting a for you. Oh yeah, we level up when we spent uh, 1700 experience. Or you're, fe you're feeding back. We can we can hear ourselves through your mic. Um, yeah, it's my my microphone is all is all fucked up, so. Oh okay. Kind of fucky. <clears throat> all right. Well, I'll see. Well, I got. Thank you guys for playing. I hope you guys had a fun time. I hope everybody watching had a good time. And uh, we and, will uh, be ending this off here. Let me just go ahead and mute sound from desktop. So thanks everybody for watching. This has been Bolters, Bolt Shots, and Toasters, the, uh, mission number one of the Death Watch campaign. We'll be continuing this campaign next week with possibly more additions to the party. I hope you all will tune in then for that for the continuation of this. I want to thank uh, my friend Cannon Fodder, my friend Italo. My friend Firecat and my friend LaFleur for playing their respective characters of Sidonius, Scroglius, Elias, and Thaddeus. And we hope to have you all back for the next mission. Until then, 
May the Emperor guide your faith.